TV slash Nartapes. Twitch.tv slash Nartapes. But it's like a channel. You, sub you subscribe. Yeah, you on follow Twitch. or subscribe or you can become friends. I'm not exactly sure how it all works. Yeah, is. Um, check out our shit um, if you're watching on Twitch. Um, Messi says, Hi, my name is Laura. How are you? I'm doing very, very good. We're doing the dang thing today. I'm making a fun, really easy, really simple, really cheap, really delicious um, uh, meal for you guys today. And uh, <laughs> Laura says, you look different when you aren't in a diaper. I don't know what you're talking about. And um, you might be referring to when we were acting. <laughs> we were acting. I was playing a character, a pretty, um, you know, I was definitely appropriating some, some ancient cultures. And, um, you know, I guess as the brown fool in the crew, I can do that, which gives us an edge. You know what I mean? And um, so there you go. Uh, Laura says, acting? What is that? I do not know, Laura. It's just the theater. It's all about the theater. Ha! I am not, I am not a classically trained actor. I never even went to theater class. I didn't even do a theater class. The closest thing I've been to acting is going to see Coco at the movie theater a couple of weeks ago last month or whenever that was. That's the closest I've gotten to acting. Actually, I've, I've, I've done like some music videos. We've done some music videos. We were on a TV show one time on Comedy Central, right, Funkle? Yeah. That's right. So, yeah, we, we've be done this. Uh, Messi says, I love this. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, please go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTG. Check out some of our fine wares. We got a bunch of great um, live donations that you can that you can um, buy and donate for us to do. So check it out, nartapes.com slash GTG. And like I said, again, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, follow us on Twitch. And please spank that motherfucking like button. And um, most of all, please, if you like what you're watching, uh, it would mean a lot to us if you, the viewer, shared the link with a friend or two or your whole social media uh, uh. friends list. Um, the more viewers we get up in here, the, uh, the funner and more exciting our show will be. Ha ha, Durango Pooch says, how the hell are you doing, Isaac? Boy, what's up, uh, Durango Pooch? How you doing today? Um, so if you can't tell, if you couldn't, if you can't read the screen. I'm making chicken salad today. Now the chicken salad thing is really awesome. Um, it's something that's really easy to make and it's really cheap. And you can prepare a bunch of it in advance. And you know, it's like the perfect thing to do on a Sunday. Like you got your work week coming up. You can spend your Sunday afternoon getting drunk and stoned and making chicken salad. And then you'll have, you know, you'll have lunch, lunch pretty much prepared for the rest of the week. And so I decided today that I'm gonna do chicken salad two ways. Uh, I'm gonna do like a more classic traditional style chicken salad. Um, and you can find all the ingredients at your local grocery store, uh, maybe even uh, your local uh, mini mart, um, depending. And um, so it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be awesome. And the second one I'm gonna do is a fun um, curry, curry, curry chicken salad, because I love that. I love going to Safeway or Ralph's or a Fred Meyer, and then you go to the deli and they got that curry chicken salad. Damn, this shit's so bomb. I love it. Um, and I have all this curry powder that I never use, so I decided let's just do something with that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, I'm Isaac Arita, AKA Skinny Jesus, the host with the most, the marinated one. Um, here again, um, and we're doing Get Fat every Sunday. Uh, so um, 
tune in, have some fun with us, and uh, let's do it. You want to roll that intro, my man? Sure. Let's do it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check out the website. I'm getting fucked, tuning in let's get a uh, let's get another let's get a donation in here to start the show off super sick and super great um and let's do this thank you guys if you're watching on twitch like i said please follow our channel every um every subscription means the world to us um uh, same thing for you guys on youtube and uh, let's get this fucking started so um let's do a brief history of chicken salad chicken salad started um in 1994 and um <laughs> In uh, West Philadelphia, the chicken was born and raised on the playground where it spent most of its days. This is a true story. Um, the chicken was chilling out, relaxing, maxing all cool. He was really good at b-ball shooting some outside the school. Um, so there you go. Quick, 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 uh, quick intro to what ch the history of chicken salad is. Humans have just queued up that get a grip tape for a soundtrack. Whoa. Get a grip, boom, boom, get a grip, boom, get a grip, 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 grip. Human, were you the one that ordered a, uh, a chill town, a chill town tape? Totally you chill town tape. Um, and yeah, for you guys um, on the Twitch, like I said, please go to the website. Um, we are a record label based out here in Los Angeles. We're in a couple bands, the White Fang and the Memories, and we do crazy fun shit all the time. We just played a show last night in LA, live, um, at one of our favorite venues. And we had a good time, so we do a lot of cool stuff. We got tons of uh, records, tapes, we got CDs, we got t-shirts, we got hats. Um, you can all see all that fun shit on the website, nartapes.com slash DTG. And I'm moder monitoring um, the visitations to the website, so I want to know if you did or not. If you did it, I'm going to be I'm gonna be a little bum, I'm going to be a little butthurt. Um, Uncle worked really hard on that site, and if, if y'all aren't, aren't going to check it out, then y'all are really fucking shit up. JK, you can do whatever you want. I don't care, man. It's your world too, boo-boo. Um, and do you. That's all I can say. Do your thing. Do what you need to do to keep your shit going. Hell yeah, human. I'm glad you got that. That is a classic. Um, classic NAR tape. The first Totally You tape. Um, I wish, though, we found a stack of Coconut Heavens. Coconut Heaven is, uh, that, I think that might be my favorite one that I've done. Um, but all right, who's ready to do this? Who's ready to check out? Um, the, uh, the chicken time, chicken time, salad time. Um, and like, <laughs> Narte says, all orders on today's show get a free chicken sandwich doodle by me, Ricky. There you go. So if you order something, um, on, on the website today, you will get a free doodle of a chicken sandwich inside your order. It's going to be fun. Awesome. Um, excited oh. to see what those will look like. You could even, you can maybe do like a two-faced chicken sandwich where it has two, cause it's the two different kinds of chicken. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dive in. Um, if you guys have any questions along the way, let me know. I'm gonna explain what I'm doing, and um, if you have a question, just say what's up in the chats. I'll be uh, I'll be up on the chats. I'll be monitoring. And if you have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, feel free to ask, and I will uh, I'll explain to you what the fuck what the fuck I'm doing. So there you go. Like I said, I'm, we're doing chicken salad today. Um, Naturally, we're gonna do, by the end of it, we're gonna do chicken salad sandwiches. I bought some really nice sourdough San Francisco style bread, an American classic. It's really, uh, the crust is really hard and nice. And when you're going for a sourdough bread, you want that crust to be really thick and really chewy. To me, that's the best part. Um, Bungle, do you like them toasted or not toasted? Uh, I prefer my bread usually on chicken salad to be uh, soft. Yes. Toasted. But, and that's the beauty of the sourdough bread is that it has that crunch yeah, it's already and that chew and, the soft and it's soft. Woo! I love that Ooh. shit. I'm, I'm the same way. I'm a, I'm, I am I'm like the soft. Even like if it's a hot sandwich, I still usually like the bread soft, but like the I typically prefer inside. that. It depends. If it's like, if it's like, you know, a sandwich that 
toasted. That's kind of a different thing. Or yeah, it has to be toasted then. But even like grilled, like patty melt grilled sandwiches, like. Oh, those got to be toasted. Those are toasted, but they're still oily and soft. So. Yeah, so it's not so crunchy munchy. Um, I never understood it. Subway, it was very popular to get your sandwich toasted, but I feel like it was just minutes before the, the cheese started to re reconstitute and the, the bread kind of was like not hot and, and I, toasty. It was just kind of hard. I never toasted my subs at Subway. Um, I sometimes would toast the meat. I would do the tuna toasted. Yeah. Tuna melt. That's a popular one. It's just that uh, the bread at Subway, like when they toast it, it's like it just dries out and like it's just like yeah, like it's hollow and it doesn't really. It's not good, yeah. man. Sartori says, "How's I gonna make this chicken salad in this bitch?" That's right. I'm um, getting my pan heated up. I have a what is this? Maybe like a 10 inch, 12 inch skillet, and um, I'm gonna cook up my chicken. I bought. Um, I decided to buy raw chicken that I'm gonna cook up right now. The cool thing about chicken salad is it's, it's, you know, it's one of those utilitarian dishes. Usually, um, I feel like the, uh, the origins of chicken salad come from, you know, having a big old chicken roast and then having a bunch of leftover chicken and being like, what can you do with all this leftover chicken? Ah, ha, 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 let me put a bunch of mayo on it and then that'll kind of keep it together and then you'll have something to eat um, that is not the straight up roast chicken but something that you can uh, keep in the fridge and and have as a snack or your lunch, whatever, this and that. That's not bad. Let me, um, I want to do this. I'm going to look up. I'm looking at it right now. I'm going to look it up right now, too. Yeah, you're pretty much right. Chicken salad origin Wikipedia. There we go. I guess I should have done this before. The United States, according to Wikipedia, United States, chicken salad refers to either any salad with chicken or a specific mixed salad consisting of primarily chopped chicken meat and a binder such as mayonnaise or salad dressing. Like tuna salad and egg salad, it may be served on top of lettuce, tomato, avocado, or some combination of these. It may also be used for sandwiches. Typically it is made with leftover or canned chicken. Now, canned food is great. It can sit on your shelf for a really long time. But as far as flavor and texture go, um, canned food is not really the way to go. I don't. I wouldn't ever fuck with canned chicken. Um, have you seen these uh, these these whole chickens in a can? Have you seen this shit? Oh my god, that shit looks so nasty and so gnarly. Um, I mean, I'm sure it tastes fine, but not not for me. Um, so there you go. Here we go. Early American chicken salad recipes can be found in the 19th century Southern cookbooks. According to Sarah Rutledge's The Carolina Housewife or House and Home. All right, so it goes back to the mid 19th century, um, at least the first written documented recipe of uh, chicken salad um, goes back that far. And I'm sure that that was before they had canned, like canning was really popular, right? Yeah. So, so there you go. Um, a salad to be eaten with cold meat or fowl, the yolk a raw egg, a teaspoonful of mustard, it is better mixed the day before, salt, uh, yada, 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 yada. All right, so um, here we go. One of the first American forms of chicken salad was served by Town Meats in Wakefield, Rhode Island, 1863. The original Liam Gray mixed his leftover chicken with mayonnaise, tarragon, and grapes. This became such a popular item that the meat market was converted into a delicatessen. Wow, how awesome is that? You, you, you devised... A recipe that was so good that you just reformed your whole business to be um, focused on that new that new dish you just made. How cool is that? Um, very good. And the cool thing about the chicken salad, like 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 we said, it it uh, traditionally you would want to use just leftover chicken. Um, so a cool thing that you can do if you want to do chicken salads, you can just go to your grocery store pick up one of those um, rotisserie chickens, hot or cold. I know like a lot of the grocery stores sell them cold as well, cold preferred. Um, but you can buy one of those roast chickens and that is just as good as like what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook some here um, on, the, on the pan. Cause I, I don't know, I'd rather, I wanted to make the chicken. And um, it's a little cheaper, it's a little cheaper to do the, uh, to do the chicken fresh than to buy one of those. I mean, it's not expensive to buy one of those rotisserie chickens. They're like six bucks or seven bucks. Um, but you know, 
I just decided that it's cheaper to, to do it with some with some real raw chicken and I'm just gonna cook it on the stove top right here and so oh there you go Narte says any orders over 10 bucks get a free nar flour pin very good so go to the website nartapes.com put in an order and let's get it cracking y'all all right so I'm just gonna get started I have my pan here like I said it's like a 12 inch um, this regular saucepan and I put a little bit of oil in it. You don't need too much, just enough to coat the bottom so the uh, the chicken doesn't stick. You're gonna let that heat up. Let's get that heated up real nice and good, and um, we'll be on our way. So I'm gonna. I decided to do two different types of chicken salad um, because it's so easy to make. All you need is two different bowls, mostly the same ingredients, but a little bit of a uh, little bit of different seasonings for both. Um, for the first one, I'm going to do a more traditional chicken salad. I'm not going to use grapes, even though that's a very popular popular one. I'm kind of going to bite Subway style. So for the first one, I'm doing some hot chicken, mayo, obviously, and then my veggies will be some red onion, low celery, um, and I bought some, I bought some walnuts. I'm going to throw some walnuts in there. I bought some uh, craisins, not craisins, but dried cranberries, so that's going to be in there too. And I'm going to throw the apples, chopped apples in there. So that's going to be the first one. And my second one is going to be a, a more, uh, you know, a more hip chicken salad. It's a curry style chicken salad. And on that one, I'm going to put some onions. I got some cashews for that one. I got some golden raisins. That's going to be nice. Um, and some celery, some onion, got some lettuce, got some tomato. And um, we'll, we'll make some cool, fun sandwiches. Like I said, I got this real nice um, sourdough bread from our local Sprouts. Where is uh, the Sprouts? <laughs> Eagle Rock. Oh, where is it? It's um, right next to the, the Del Taco right yeah, there. That's true that. I like Sprouts. It's sprouts pretty great. It's cheap. Er, um, I opted to not buy the meat there because the meat there was like four dollars a pound for their chicken. Yeah. Um, it's good chicken, but that's the thing, you know, like it's it it's good chicken. It's just that it's that chicken that they put up in the luxury suite. Yeah. Lucky. I'm just gonna put my chickens in here. That's a big ass chicken thigh. I oh, know. Look at their legs. Uh. And so basically, we're just gonna cook these on the stove top like this until they're ready. I just saw something interesting on a social media feed. One of those wacky videos that just pops up and shows you something you've never seen before. Yeah, what is that? It was a um, like they melted cheddar cheese, put it into like shot glass forms, froze it for a little while, let it thaw. And then they had cheddar wine shots. So it's a cheddar shot glass, white cheddar, wine? with wine. Oh. I think that sounds bomb. Oh, no. I want to drink that wine and then eat the shot glass. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? Would you drink a red wine cheddar shot and then eat the ch cheddar shot glass? I would. Sounds bomb to me. Wow, it's really hypnotic to just watch this chicken sizzling. Those poor stupid chickens didn't know what hit them. The chicken um, is quite useful. I need to uh, wash this up. Hell yeah. My name is Uncle Funkle. I hurt my back last night, y'all. Or, or today, I don't know. My back is a bit thrown out. I have lower back problems sometimes. And uh, yeah, sometimes when it gets really bad, I have to go get some muscle relaxers and sit in the ER all, or urgent care all fucking day. Waiting for some doctor to be like, oh, I'm going to give you these drugs. And then I take the drugs, and I don't like doing that. I don't like being on those, those crazy drugs. Yeah, fuck those drugs, man. They don't I mean, if you got to take them, you got to take them. I'm not going to judge you for it. Like, I understand antibiotics and stuff to a certain point. Because there's definitely certain viruses you can't really yeah. get rid of. But a lot of the medicine out there, a lot of the medicine out there, they don't. Get to make you better. No. They just like. They make you they make, in need. Yeah, they, they make the uh, the symptoms kind of just. Human says he would try the wine and a cheese shot. Yeah, I don't know about that. Not for me. BDG's here. What's up, BDG? Um, Who likes red wine out there? I do like red wine. I can get fucking fucked up on red wine and have a good ass time sitting around and some nice, nice people, like maybe with some adults <laughs> and like, and like. They start having some like sexy adult fun where where they're like like flirting, yeah, and wine drunk. Uh, everyone, put your keys into the bowl. Yeah. 
Well, maybe, maybe not even that far. It's like, oh, like you're flirting with your friend's mom kind of thing. She, <laughs> she's down because, you know, she doesn't get a chance to flirt with young men that oh. often. And, and uh, um, yeah, I like wine. It definitely gives me that, like, red, horny face. It's definitely, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, the romantic of yeah. the, uh, the alcohols. They say it's really good for you, red wine. Yeah, one cup a day keeps your heart pumping, apparently. Um, I, don't, I don't see why not. You know, people have been drinking wine for, for eons. So there you go. BDG says wine was uh, invented by Romans for orgies. Well, I think they had wine before the Romans. They definitely liked, according to uh, um, Zeus by Rareware, I think, you could make wine in that, and that was the Greek Empire, which, of course, was eventually overthrown by the Roman Empire yeah. or something. How did they do that? How did yeah, they, do they all that? just, they fucking probably killed a bunch of people. Do you think the, um, the democracy as, as they they created, do you think it was actually like that, or do you think it was very similar to us, where we pretend like it's a democracy? Well, democracy, um, it comes, it's different back then, because it, demos means soldier, and so only ah, the military only, people so were... So only if you served, yeah. you were allowed to participate in, in, the in voting and, and I All see. That, yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Uh, I like that story the most of all of them you yeah. told, Funkle. <laughs> We should do like a, a dad joke off. Oh, there we go. Which would be pretty sick. I'd be super into that. BDG also says, I'd rather go to the chiropractor than the doctor for some something like that. Um, he even said, stream went offline. Is this right? Oh, it's back. Cool. No problem. Uh, we good. We good, bro. So, um, yeah. I got my chicken in the pot. I'm just going to cook it up. Season it up, just put a little salt and pepper on there. You don't need much more than that. Um, Cause we're pretty much just doing, we're pretty much just doing um, the chickens like this. We're gonna cook them on, on the stove top. And once they're done, I'm gonna set them aside, let them cool, and then we'll be able to do, get into our real deal chicken salad. All right, so I got those. I'm gonna put the cover back on just so they steam a little bit. They cook a little faster, um, and just let those go. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of cooking. A lot of, a lot about making food is pretty much being patient. You just gotta wait for it to, to cook. Don't try and rush it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna put the heat too high um, because you think it's cooking slow. Things cook slow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't just be like, fuck that. I wanna eat the chicken now. You'll get yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. You get sick. Or if you, if you crank that heat, it's just going to burn up, and you're going to end up with burnt now, outsides and, and raw insides. There are some, some recipes that might call for, for turning the heat up. Yeah, of course. Getting, getting that chicken crisp of course. hard on the outside for whatever reason. But that's just a, I feel like that's a common misconception or like a, a little mistake I'll see people do. I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm not some sort of classically trained chef or anything. I learned all what I know off of the uh, the TV and the internet um, and through practice, you know. Um, n practice makes perfect, or perfect practice makes perfect, as Bruce Lee would say. Yeah. And so trial and error, figuring out what works and what doesn't work, and keeping that in mind so you know what the fuck is going on. Um, yeah, you know, I think the easiest m meat to cook is fish. Because all I ever do when I cook fish is I put it in a little... A little thing, put some like salt, pepper, maybe some lemon or whatever else I'm putting on there. Throw it in the fucking oven, oven for a while. Done. And it's gonna come out. It's gonna done. come out good. Yeah. It's gonna come out good. Does no, 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 uh, no hard stuff to do. Chicken, you can do that with chicken too. You can do that with chicken. I, I wish I do that with my soup. I wish I had an oven because like yeah. that would open up the, the a world of possibilities of shit I can make. Um, BDG says, you ever see a tube of lip gloss and think like, damn, I want to eat that? Yeah, there's lots of things that you're not supposed to eat that look appealing. Yeah, the, I've, I've definitely felt that way um, Tide, before. Tide Pods are the new hot. <laughs> Tampons? Tide Pods. Oh, okay. I don't, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm too old to understand yeah. what the fuck that whole thing is. It just looks is. like it could be tasty. It's a joke, I guess. It is a joke, but kids did it. Or yeah. is that fake, too? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe no one really ate that. any of these fucking weirdos I'm talking about on the internet. Uh, human says, uh, yeah, crank that heat, 
get dry and burn. If that's what you like, that's what you like. Get it going. Uh, other to, to me, you know, when you're making food for yourself, you can make it however the fuck you want. That's the whole beauty of making food. And um, it's up to you when you make it at home. You know, it's like when you go to McDonald's, you can customize your order, but you know they don't like that shit. But when you're making food at home, it's not custom. It's just yeah. the way it is because that's how you want it. You know what I mean? Hey man, what's up, hey man? Oh, what you making, fam? I'm making two different kinds of chicken salads for your <laughs> weekly work week luncheon. Um, I'm making a fun, awesome, traditional style chicken salad, and then I'm also gonna do a, a curry style chicken salad. It's gonna be great. Jesse, what's up, Jesse? He says, love you. Isaac, love you too, man. He says, nice package, Funkle. Thanks, bro. Um, the whole package, I'm assuming, is what he's. No, talking you can about. kind of see my dick. He's talking about his talking dick. About that. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Ian says, LOL BDG, when I was a kid, I ate those Lip Smackers flavored chapsticks like it was candy. Ew. Well, I'm happy to hear that you're he still here with us. Yeah, they make that shit with non-toxic stuff. Yeah, of course they do, because there's fucking people like humans, <laughs> one, three, ready to eat, eat that shit. You know, that's just survival of the fittest. If you eat some shit and die, then you're not going to have any dumb kids. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, that's some crazy shit. We've kind of gotten past all that, huh, with the human race? What do you mean? Like they're, they're like people aren't aren't dying for their incompetence anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean they try sometimes. <laughs> I mean there are definitely those um those Darwin Award videos. Yeah, that's sad. And people it, fuck it up. It's just crazy. That's just crazy because it's just like what the fuck were you thinking? And yeah. it, it's obviously you weren't. You know what I mean? And like, you know, sometimes people are, are liking to take a risk. And sometimes risk a... Uh, that's the thing, because, like, the line the line of, like, Darwin Award and win video yeah, is very, very thin. thin, you know? So, like, you, you think you're doing something super cool next level, but if you don't pull it off, you're a fucking idiot, and um, people are going to make fun of you on the internet. Um, and you could die. And you could die. Lots of these people fucking die, and it's real crazy and real, real sad. All right, so I got my chicken going here. What I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to start cutting up some veggies preemptively. You feel me? Yep. Veggies are important to cut. Let's start out with one red onion. I'm going to split up one onion um, between the two. A-Man says, uh, oh, wait, where are we at? Human says, I mean, there's some, <laughs> there's some that do. Uh, like that one dude who wants to prove the earth is flat and making his own uh, manned rocket to prove it, he death gonna die. Did that ever happen? I don't know if he actually did that. No, not I yet. Heard, I heard that story. Um, but it's like a dude in California. Um, I don't know, man. Just, like, do all those people think, like, the ISS footage is fake and stuff? Is that, like, part of the whole flat earth thing? I don't yeah. get it. Like, what proof do you need? Yeah. You need to see it? Is that what it is? Yeah, that would help. That would help my, my perception of yeah. the shape of the earth. I guess you're right. I mean, who, who, I guess I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, like, but then what are you, you're going to go all the way out there, and then you're like, okay, I now I have to go around to the other side or to see if it's fucking flat, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Now, I guess if you went up there and you saw the entire globe, or not globe, whatever whatever you would call it, the terrain, the and you're like, you're like, oh, so, yeah, that looks pretty flat because I can see the whole thing. It's just crazy, man. I don't, I don't fucking get it. A man says, "Oh, I was the kid that would drink glue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drink the school. I ain't gonna lie. I've definitely tried the Elmer's. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not. Yeah. You know, I would do it. it tastes to, like it smells. I would do it to freak out my. Uh, the future teachers. Nah, just, just the kids. You know, yeah. freak them out. Freak them out. All right, so I got my red onion right here. Like I said, I'm going to put half in one, half in the other. Um, so how I'm going to cut these is I'm not going to do a dice. I'm going to do like a nice um, little slivers. So I'm going to try and get it as thin as possible um, because the, the red onion is such a, has a, such a strong flavor. You know, if, if you put big old chunks in there, if you like that, that's cool. Um, but, you know, the, the thinner you can get the slice, the more mellow. Um, those flavors will mesh with the other things in the salad. So I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to try and just cut these real thin, as thin as you can, um, almost like paper, if you will. There you go. I'm going to cut this in half, too, because I don't want these pieces to be so big. 
But yeah, just cut them real thin. Like I'll show you like, like this thin, this sort of, this sort of thin. Can you see this? Can you see? Can you see what I'm talking about? It's like super duper papery, very thin. So I'm just gonna go, go ahead and do that with the rest of this onion. And take your time. There's no rush. Um, the last thing you want is a bloody finger in the kitchen. So uh, take your time if you're not so con confident with your nice skills. There's no shame in your game as long as you're doing it properly and safely. You're gonna be good. All right, so there we go. That looks like actually I might not even put the whole. I might I might split this half into both. It's looking like I might just do that, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Not quite there yet. So I'm just chopping up my onions. Thin, thin as you could possibly get them. Bundaba, bundaba. I uh, I recently watched The Sound of Music again after many many years the other night, and um, man, I was raving. I thought it was really awesome. I used to like think that movie was so so corny as a kid because my mom would watch it all the time, and, and you know. I haven't seen it in over 15 years, I think, maybe even more, and um, it was just awesome. The songs are fucking great. It's a really good, it's a, just a really good movie. The story's really good, and uh, you just really can't beat it, you know what I mean? Let these keep going. We need these to cook. I'm going to let this go down. I'm going to have so much of this cool... I should save this broth stuff so we can make some actual broth in my spam. BDG says, do you put the ch chicken salad on a tostada and, and tapatio? I don't think I fully know what chicken salad is. Yeah, dude, well, it's basically just leftover chicken, and you mix it with mayonnaise, and you mix it with, like, <coughs> you know, different aromatic vegetables like onions or some herbs or something. It's pretty much just a way to, to recycle some, some leftover chicken. And then, you know, you put it all in a bowl, you mix it up with the mayo and a little mustard and this and that, this and that. And you put that shit on a sandwich, you could put it on a tostada, and that would be fucking good. Um, some avocado, some tapatio. Um, but yeah, so basically it's just like a, uh, you know, you know, tuna. it's like tuna salad. You ever had tuna salad or uh, egg salad? It's kind of the same thing, just with chicken. So, there you go, BDG. Human says, uh, I just finished Get a Grip, that thing rips. Is boom over or just hiatus? Um, I don't know. I feel like me and Chris, so Boom is me and Christopher Crux from Guantanamo Baywatch. And um, I just feel like we've both been really busy. He plays in Baywatch, they're touring a lot. And, um, and honestly, the last thing we did um, was with our friend Mikey who passed away. And he was kind of like the best fit I feel like we've ever had for Boom. Fungal was really good in Boom too for a sec. I really enjoyed your, uh, your the the Fungal era of, of Boom, but we just haven't we haven't done it. You know, we 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 lived in a different city for years, and and you know, but you know, you never know what's gonna happen. You never know if we'll come back or not. What's gonna happen? And um, maybe keep an eye out. Maybe we'll make some new Boom stuff. Who the fuck knows? All right. Cutting up my onions. There you go. All right, this looks like enough actually. So this half, this half of this big ass red onion, um, I'm gonna split between the two for right now, and then we'll see, we'll see what happens once we get the chickens in there. Maybe we'll add a little more. Who knows? But I'm just gonna do this for right now. Put them all in there. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. So I got my red onions all chopped. Beautiful. Love me some onions. And now, if you want to know a little tip, a little tip behind all like the onions and and do you know which onions are for what? Do you, do you understand this? Uh uh. So, so you know when you go to the store, they have the different they have the different onions, right? They got the brown one, which is the yellow. They got the white one, and then they got the red onions, which is purple. Now, now if you're gonna cook with with the onions, you're gonna cook it. 
you want to either go, you, you mostly want to go with, with the yellow brown onion. Yeah. Because of all of them, the, that's the sweetest one. And when you cook it, um, it, it, can, it caramelizes a lot more than, say, your white or purple onion. So if you're going to make a stew, or you're going to cook something, or a soup, go with the brown onions because they're sweeter. They have a much nicer flavor. Um, if you're going to make a salad or a sandwich or um, something like that, you want to go with the purple because the purple is just the most mild flavor um, for eating it raw. So purple is the one you, the red onion is the one you want to go with if you're eating the onions Salad raw. Or yeah, and then, and then the white one is kind of like, it can go both ways. You yeah. can cook with the white one, but you know, in, in Mexican culture, a lot of a lot of them use the uh, the white onion as a topping or inside salsas or salads or stuff like that. So the white and the red onions are good raw. The white and the brown yellow onions are good for cooking, and that's a good rule of thumb when you're out there. <laughs> Picking, picking out onions for yourself to cook. Human says, it's basically egg or potato salad with chicken. <coughs> Human says, I feel, well, if you all ever get together, I'd be excited. You got some great tunes back together. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate that. Boom is a fun band. Um, and we did our thing real hard out there for a long time. And I'm happy that that you are, um, you are stoked about it. And you were... Uh, Yeah, let's get over this chicken. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there on this chicken. Beautiful. All right, so I got both of my onions. I got my onions. Let's uh, even this up a little bit. Bow. So check that out. I got my onions right there. Let's get to my next veggie. I got some. Uh, I got some celery. Celery is a classic, classic. Classic ingredient for your uh, your chicken salad. Um, it's just a nice vegetable that that provides you know some some food in your tummy, but it's not it's not super high highly caloric. So so it's a good thing to eat and 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 you know you're not you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna feel guilty after eating some celery because like some people say that you actually exert more energy eating celery than the actual celery. Than, than the nutrition the celery can actually provide you. Because you're chewing, and um, that's just how it goes. <laughs> Jerry Rogers says, this dish would pair nicely with a 2008 Diet Pepsi. Yes, exactly, Jerry Rogers. Jerry Rogers is a connoisseur of sodas, and he, he, he's a, uh, I don't know, in, in, the, uh, in the soda, in the wine world, they have sommeliers, um, Jerry. But um, in the soda world, what do you call yourself um, when you when you're uh, you know you have a high a high knowledge of tastes and, and smells and notes that you can um, that you can tell people and, and suggest wines? I'm not sure what they uh, what they would call that in the soda world. But here we go. I got my um, these right here. These right here. Let me move over a bit. So I got my celery. I got about four stalks of this celery. And you know, you could get celery at any store, any grocery store. Um, I did the fun thing today where I went to the really nice grocery store and got some stuff, and then I went to my favorite really cheap grocery store to buy some stuff. Because sometimes you go to those, you go to those uh, nice, nice stores, and you're just like, I can't pay that much for this fucking food. You know, it's just like, how do you, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Uh, so all right, so I just got my, my celeries here, four stocks. And again, I'm just gonna cut these really, really thin. Maybe like uh, an eighth of an inch. Not nothing too crazy. All right, you don't need to go wild on this. Very good. Very, very good. Boom. 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 Realest guy in the room. All right. Very good. Um, human says, yeah, I could use a Diet Pepsi right now. It's a 2008 variant different. Yeah, it has a little, um, the, the sour notes and the um, the aroma is a little different. The, the, um, the Pepsi berries that year um, of 2018, this year is probably the best we've ever had um, in the history 
of um, Diet Pepsi. So, um, you know, as a collector, if you're a collector, I would say you would want to stock up now on Diet Pepsi 2018 because um, it's just one of the best year for the Pepsi Berry. And, um, you know, good wine starts with uh, good grapes and good Pepsi starts with good Pepsi Berry. So, you know, we had a good year this year and I would say, um, hey, you gotta go, you gotta go and get you some, some 2018 Pepsi. That's where it's at. All right, so I'm gonna split these again. I got a little bit for both, I'm gonna put some of both. And um, pretty much this is where we leave off um, where they're gonna be different. I have celery in both of these. Um, and now I'm gonna start putting different things in each. And I just have to remember which one's gonna be which one. All right, let me check out my chicken. All right, all right. How you doing chicken? Cooking up in there? How you doing? Getting all cooked up in there? All right. Can you um give me a little a little tiny fiber funko really quick? I need to yeah. grab something. Um, I I <laughs> Jerry said I prefer Pepsi, but anything pre vintage 2016 just tastes flat to me. Tbh, it's a peak year, very dry, very flavorful. They make it in a can now too, so you don't have to futz with that pesky cork anymore. Yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Uncle Funkle. We're live on the Nard Tapes Network. This is Getting Fab with Skinny Jesus, our live cooking program hosted by the one and only Isaac Arita, a.k.a. Skinny Jesus, the marinated one. The chef of chefs. Onions can make you cry, says uh, Sartenis. He says, do onions make you cry? Yes. You know, a good thing to do if you have sensitive eyes to the onion gases is uh, you want the sharpest knife possible. Yes. Because the uh, little um, onion gas capsules will break less yeah you It'll know slice right between them and it's not and, and with the onions it's not about the the gases getting into your eyes it's you breathing in the gases mm. that's that's where you um that's where you start to tear up it hits your sinuses and then like it really just gets you um, it's funny how it's all like there. the thing is that like it makes you tear up and stuff but actually with it really hurts yeah so it's it like does. kind of funny to be like oh it makes you cry it's like yeah but and it stings. <laughs> it stings your eyes. Um, yeah, and you know your tear tear ducts are there to moisturize and, and and help wash that kind of shit out of your eyes. Let me get a couple minutes on this, and then these will be good. Um, but yeah, you know the onion thing. There's a lot of different um, methods to the madness of not crying when you're chopping onions. Some people uh, will wrap a bandana around their face to not breathe it in. Some people wear the goggles. The goggles don't do shit, because like I said, um, when you breathe in, that's when you get those gases and they, they make you tear up. Um, it's actually a natural defense mechanism for the onion to make you not want to eat it. But silly humans decided, fuck that, we're gonna eat you because you're so delicious, and thank you to that first human who did and showed everyone, because onions are amazing, and they soak up flavor, and it's really awesome. Um, but some people, have you heard the toothpick one? You know about the toothpick trick? Some mm -hmm. people swear, some people swear that if you're chewing on a toothpick, a wooden toothpick, um, while you're chopping the onions, that somehow, that somehow diffuses the whole, the whole gas thing, and, and you don't cry. Um, you know, really, there's no, to me, there's no real way to, uh, to combat that. You either just gotta suck it up, tear it up, um, but Funkle was right. You need, if you have the sharper the knife, the better and less, the less gas will um, will come out and you will cry less. I, I haven't even cried yet, because uh, like I said, the red onions, you know, they'll make you cry, but they're, they're a lot more mild um, than say some of your other ones. So, so they, they'll do a good job of, um, you know, if you chop up enough, then yeah, you'll cry. But, but as you can see, I'm not tearing up right now because um, I have a decent knife, my knife's pretty decent. All right, so I'm just cooking my chicken in batches. All this is looking pretty good. I like where all this is going. Beautiful. Is it cooked? We got the cooked chicken, all the chicken cooked. All right, we're looking good. I'm just going to put these pieces inside my, uh, inside my other bowl here. 
And with the chicken, we're gonna want to let this cool because, uh, like chicken salad, is a cold, cold, cold leftover type recyclable meal. So we want these to we don't want these to be hot at all because you're gonna be adding them to the mayonnaise and you might cause the mayonnaise to um, maybe separate or cook a little bit. The eggs in there cook a little bit, and that is something you don't necessarily want. Mm, no. I'm gonna cook these for a little longer. A little bit. I wanna make sure you're doing actually I'm gonna start it. Maybe this too. I'm gonna start the other one. So we can cook them both at the same time. Bug it. And um yeah, so there you go. Heat that up. I'm gonna put some oil in there. Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, um, a good way to do this as well is with um, <coughs> leftover chicken or or you can go to the um, your grocery store and buy one of those um, pre-roasted rotisserie chickens. That works really, really, really well here um, for a chicken salad recipe. I just want these to be very well cooked. Um, we don't want them to be raw because you don't want to eat no raw chicken. Uh, sorry, Tori says, anytime someone makes them at my, ho at my home, all my cats walk around with squinty eyes. Yeah, it, it affects all of us animals. That's part of, like I said, the defense mechanism of the onion. Um, I loved that them. car. What? Onions don't want, them, want you eating them, so they have that as their defense. So, um, but yeah, they're tasty and delicious and got to fuck with them. Human says, also, wow, haven't had a Diet Pepsi in a can before. They are really stepping up their game, Ella. Well, yeah, you know, it's 2018. You gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do, as they say. All right, so I'm just gonna lay one of these chickens up in this pot now. I'm gonna let this one go for a while. There you go, beautiful. And uh, Narte just posted the um, the Ex, the new Ex cassette pre-order. I'm assuming. And uh, you can go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTG, and check that out. The Eeks are really, really awesome. A band from um, Asuncion Fedawai, and they're a really good band. They fucking kill it. They're so they're so amazing. They, they have this really cool, it's like Burt Bacharach and the Beatles meets Devo on this new record. It's kind of cool. They got some really interesting, interesting tunes going on. Um, if you're interested in new music, especially um, international new music, if you're tired of all these goddamn American bands, check out the Eeks. Go to the website, nightapes.com slash GTG. They're from Paraguay, and um, they fucking rip. And um, pre-order for five bucks right there on the um, on the website. Go and check it out. How about that? And um, we'll be doing it real soon. We got that going out. We got the new uh, Memories in La La Land cassette pre-order up there as well. And then we also got the uh, White Fang, South by Southwest tour tape on pre-order um, on the website. Check it out, nartapes.com slash GTD, like I said. And then you can have some fun with those tapes. All right. So pretty much, like, really, with all this, ow, with all this, it's like, uh, this is the only thing I'm cooking. The chicken is the only thing that I'm cooking on this recipe. Um, and when we were going over the history, like I said, traditionally, you know, this is you, this is a dish you would you would use leftover chicken. But I decided to make some fresh chicken um, because I didn't want to buy no fucking I didn't want to buy no rotisserie chicken when I could just make some chicken. You know what I mean? And then if I if I just bought some chicken like that, then the show would only be like 15 minutes. So it doesn't take that long to make to make a nice nice chicken salad. Um, so Artura says. Badawai, the neighbor to my fam in Utawai. Very good. I love that, uh, remember that Simpsons joke where they're, uh, talking about your Uruguay and it's like, you are gay. Uh, I don't know why that one will never, like, leave my, leave my mind. Yeah, that was, that was such funny. a funny joke. Was it Homer who did that or was yeah, it? He, he, he said, hey, look at this country. You are gay. <laughs> 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 that one and, um, what's the one when they're playing Scrabble and it's like, quid you both? Oh yeah. Look it up, and it was actually was it actually now? I don't remember. Um, Human says in La La Land is sick. I've listened to it a ton this week. Well, hell yeah! I'm glad you like that record, Human. Um, for those of you that don't know, we 
We are the band, The Memories, as well as White Fang, and this past Wednesday on Valentine's Day, we released um, a brand new album, 13 tracks, three years in the making, um, a loose concept album based on our time here in L.A. We, uh, we made it for free, or we, we put it out for free on the website. You can go to the website, um, our band camp, our tapes at bandcamp.com. You can go check out The Memories World United Song Service for absolutely free, or not song service, The Memories in La La Land, pardon me. Um, absolutely free, 13 tracks, they're all bangers, and um, it's a really great, really great tape, and I'm stoked that you guys like it, and um, pre-orders for the tapes are also up on on the website, nartapes.com slash gtg, so check that out as well, and um, yeah, I would love, uh, I would love to see you guys download that, we, we, we decided to give it to you guys, the fans, there's, you know, it could only be on ice for so long. Like, what's the point of it just sitting in in our outbox on a hard drive somewhere? You know, we really wanted to just give you guys something. Um, we haven't released anything since the Royal United Song Service last summer, so we wanted to do you guys a solid and hook you up on Valentine's Day. Um, and I hope y'all uh, y'all had fun with it. I hope y'all uh, you know maybe had a little fun romantic time with someone, or uh, or you jerked off listening to it by yourself that's acceptable too i'm into that sort of thing and um you know we just wanted to give you guys the fans our friends and family wanted to give you the gift the song for for valentine's day and and so there you go we got the links up there in the web or in the chats on youtube if you're trying to check that out where my twitch fam at y'all still here what's going on are you are you gonna stick around for the uh for the chicken salad or what all right, we're getting somewhere with this. Definitely getting somewhere with this. Let me um, make sure this one. Ah, we're getting there, baby. We're getting there, baby. And again, like I said, we're cooking up the chicken here. But ideally and traditionally, you would just use leftover chicken from your roast. So you could go get a rotisserie chicken from the stow and um, do that whole thing. And, um, but I'm just cooking the chicken here because, hey, it's part of the show. It's getting fast, skinny Jesus. I'm making some food. We're doing the food thing. And I love you guys. All right. Um, Uncle Funkle. Yes. Could you do me a, a two minute thing? I need to find one more bowl really quick. If that's a uh, possibility for me to find another bowl somewhere. I bet it could be done. I bet it could be done too. Hey, yeah, we got the chicken cooking up. It's all chopped up. Looking good, smelling like real chicken. We got some onions and celery in some separate bowls. We are making chicken salad. It's absolutely wonderful, it's delicious. We got um, Isaac Rita, the marinated one. You can go to nartapes.com, size DTG. You can put in a sale, donation. You can get all sorts of new, wonderful stuff from the website, including white fang pins, nar flower pins, pre-orders. For the new Eeks cassette, the new Memories cassette. And we're having a great time. We're going to make some wonderful chicken salad sandwiches. I'm really hungry, very excited for this. I did it. Found a bowl. I knew it could be done. And this one even has a handle. Is it cook? Cook. Seems like it. All right. That's good news. That is beautiful news. Cooked chicken equals good chicken. Let's get it. Zoe's here. What's up, Zoe? There's a picture of Brownie with his portrait in the Discord. Who's Brownie? Is that your dog? Or are you calling me names? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's the dog. Cool. That what kind of matches. dog is it? What's that? What kind of dog is it? It's the dog that Ricky drew. Oh, that dog. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. That that fucking that one came out bomb. I was really impressed with that one uh, when he finished that. Lucky, lucky Zoe, you got to uh, you got to have that going for you. Appreciate that. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, how would this happen? Get my chicken out. Try not to get all that grease in the bowl. You don't want super greasy. Uh, you don't want super greasy chicken, chicken grease in your chicken salad. You just want the nice meat. I'm going to turn this down a bit. Flip this one. 
Gotta get that chicken good, good in the neighborhood. Alright, so I'm just gonna get some of this dried stuff off because we don't want that on the pan when we put our next our next round in. And um, a good a good um, tip for you guys, if you guys are using a uh, non-stick pan, I'm not, but if you are, um, a good rule of thumb is to not use metal utensils on your non-stick pans. Why? Because it'll scratch the Teflon off, for one. And then two, when you scratch the Teflon off like that, it gets in your, uh, it gets in the food you're cooking and that's the last thing you want. You don't want pieces of, of, of weird manufactured um, slick substance in your food. So I'm using a wooden spoon to just scrape this because of course the wood is pretty, uh, pretty soft compared to um, a stainless steel spatula and we don't want we don't want to scratch the bottom of the pot so there you go wooden spoons plastic spoons all that works we're just gonna put a little more oil in here all right, all right we're, we're, we're looking good guys we're getting there and um, how do you guys like your uh, chicken salad do you, Fungal, do you like it with uh, crazy, uh, crazy uh, big chunks of chicken, or do you like it pretty shredded and like? I usually like the like chunks. Chunks. Yeah, I like the chunks too. I think that's a good call. It's nice when like uh, you get a chunk and 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 you taste the piece of chicken that's like, not. Yeah. It's not like completely mayoed over. You know what I mean? You get the inside part that's not like, mayoed out. So I like that too. I'm into that bumble. I agree. Alright, this one's looking good too. Just let these go. No problem there. Alright, this one's looking hot enough. I'm going to add a couple more pieces of my chicken. Beautiful. Too big. It is way too big. Alright, there you go. Just let these go. Get a good sear on these. And like I said, be patient, baby. Um, very good. I'm going to check out that picture in the Discord then. There you go. Where you going? I want to see this doggy. Oh, cool! That rules. That picture's sick. Hell yeah, Zoe. That's so sick. Uh, so Terry says, would you put pickles on your chicken salad? Um, I wouldn't put pickles in the salad, but I would put them in the sandwich. That's the cool thing about chicken salad, you know. Today we're actually making sandwiches. But there's, you know, you can eat chicken salad just out the bowl with, with, with a couple of chopped up veggies in it, you know. Um, on the sandwich, the pickles is a nice touch. Um, that dill, the dill, really, really can give um, a nice flavor to uh, to your chicken, chicken salad. And so yeah, that's the cool thing. Like I said earlier, sorry, Taurus, about making, making some food. It's, it's if you make it for yourself, you're gonna make it exactly how you would want it. Yeah, it's like Burger King. You have it your way. Yeah. I've been thinking that we need to, uh, we need to protest. They're not protest, but we need to, like, go down to the closed Burger King and hold signs up, like, bring back Burger King. I'm hungover. <laughs> oh, no more hungover Whoppers anymore. I'm so pissed. Which is really funny. One more. All right, we're looking good, guys. So our Taurus says, uh, like, little chopped up pickles. I don't know, on tuna salad sandwiches, I do that, I think. Yeah, dude. Um, tuna with pickles is like peanut butter and jelly, man. Like, those, the dill pickles and the tuna just go together like magic. Um, same thing with this, you know? And it, and it really depends on just what your, uh, 
what your flavor what your flavor zone is like um you just gotta you just gotta be be wary because the dill pickle is a definite very strong yeah very flavor. strong flavor so you know you want to put flavor it, um uh take her over you know yeah flavor take her over you just you want to um you want to have the right amount scrum delicious scrum delicious scrum delicious very good hell yeah so um this weekend in Los Angeles, they're having the NBA All-Star Weekend. True. And so traffic has been fucked this whole weekend. We got, I got caught downtown for a couple hours just trying to get home. The buses weren't running right. The lifts weren't running right because there was hella, there was hella fucking street closures and this and that. All so celebrities can go watch other celebrities play basketball on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Um, but you know that's good. That's good for the city of Los Angeles. I mean, the city, LA doesn't need any help being cool or whatever. But, but you know, it works. All right. So these ones, ow. these ones are looking good. I'm gonna pull these out. Like I said, we want these to cool. <coughs> bottom off on here. Alright, get some of this nice, nice brown chicken going. You could deglaze this, but I'm not trying to make a sauce. I'm just using these pans to cook up the chicken. So I don't have to do anything too crazy. Um, but a good deglaze is always the best way to get all this nice brown flavor off the uh, off the bottom of your pan. There you go. Just using my wooden spoon to scrape up a lot of that stuff. All right. We got enough oil in there to coat the bottom, so I'm not going to add any more. But I will add my next piece of chicken into that one. And let's watch it roll. Scrum diddly umptious. I think that's what you were trying to type earlier. Scrum diddly umptious. A little salt. You don't need to season it too much because we're going to be doing the whole, the whole salad thing, and that will be, uh, that will be up in there. That's a bit too high. All right. Hell yeah, guys. Who just joined us? We're making a chicken salad today on the Nartapes Network. Right here on Getting Fat with King and Jesus. Um, it's a good thing to do on Sundays. It's actually a really fun thing to do on Sundays because you can uh, you can make lunch for yourself for the rest of the week on one day. You know. Very yes. Good. Shout out to Juan Garcia Sartoris. Very good. It's like the cooking chicken show. How many chickens can you cook? Oh man, me and Ricky. Speaking of food, me and Ricky have been watching these these regional food videos from this channel, First We Feast, and this particular show is hosted by Miss Info, who is a famous, uh, you know, hip-hop radio DJ in New York, and she goes to all these different places and, and checks, out their, checks out their cool regional cuisine, and um, man, I had no idea, but here in Los Angeles, in South Central Los Angeles especially, which is a uh, traditionally um, African-American um, neighborhood, the big thing now in these areas is a lot of African American people opening up their own taco stand. And it's a really cool, awesome, like, you know, it's like we all live here in LA and um, tacos are everywhere because the Latino and Hispanic population is, is, is huge. That, um, you know, you, you, you have different cultures um, appropriating that type of food because that's what um, we're so used to seeing when we go out to eat food. And so you see this with like the Kogi truck, you see this with like the Korean barbecue tacos, um, like bulgogi and all that in, um, in the tacos. And then now you're seeing it in South Central with the African American spin on what they do with tacos. Try it so bad. Yeah, I want to try it too. It's really chicken awesome. Chicken good. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Uh, it's chicken. Just chicken. No Salt. frills. Salt, pepper. No frills, baby. No frills. No frills. Yeah, they pull off all the frills before they. Uh, what up, you guys? Uh, I love that. 
joint. Look at that. Oh, I have some. You do? Yeah. In that yellow pouch right there behind you. Oh, right here. There's papers in there. Allow me. Right? There's some papers in there? Yeah, he's right. Do a ball. Oh, you? I found them. Can you do it? Mm -hmm. I'm really bad at rolling raws. I hate raws. Actually. It is better for you than all the other ones. That's weak. Yeah. They seem to burn all right. They burn fine. They burn great. I don't like the gum all that much on, on the raws. Yeah. But they aren't bleached, which is really good. And, um, yeah, you don't want, I mean, you know, the, you're smoking. Yeah. So there's that. But I guess that is a little better for you than if you were to smoke bleached paper. Um, Alex was all about his, uh, the technique where you roll it backwards and then you gum it and so the paper that's left you burn off. Yeah, and then, the, and you, you, then don't you, smoke you don't smoke as much paper in that case. It was pretty funny because he was showing everyone that um, all over Asia and stuff and like people were stoked and I was like, that is pretty cool. And it, it does make a difference. It does. It tastes, it tastes more. Because there's less paper. More leafy, yeah. And less, less like paper, I guess, which isn't really a flavor, but. I've never really rolled it like that. We could try it. Yeah, I the shot. Um, yeah, we're gonna roll up a joint here in a sec. That's kind of like a food. It's kind of like a salad. A joint? Yeah. Yeah. Frank Zappa never really did drugs. He wasn't really into it, but he did did smoke a lot of cigarettes and drink coffee. And one time, an interviewer uh, pointed out the hypocrisy there, and he said, "What? This, this is just food." <laughs> About coffee and About cigarettes. Coffee and cigarettes yeah. So, this weed is very much like the epitome of like somebody grew this shit in their like grandma's backyard or something. It smells like barbecue sauce, if you ask me. All right, gonna, go, man. gonna roll up some of this. Uh, I said that. What? You look at you up there. Go, <laughs> um, MSQ Studio Smith says, "Oh shit, what I just come up off hot." Well, what's up, man? This is Game Fab with Skinny Jesus on the Nartapes Network. Um, and yeah, this is the Nartapes Network. This is one of the fine programs that we bring to you guys throughout the week. The Nartapes Network is um, a collective of dudes. It's me, this guy Funkle, the guy you probably just saw, Ricky, and um, our good friend Jimmy. We run a record label right here in Los Angeles. And we also are in bands, The White Fang, Memories. Uh, we put up other different art artists' music, and uh, we make art, music, video, media, all sorts of shit, and um, live streaming is, is, we've been doing it for a little over a year, but, um, you know, it's, it's the newest thing that we've, we've come upon that we, we've, just, we've loved and decided to stick to and, and do it on a regular basis, and so thank you, MSQ Studios Smith, for, um, for tuning in. in. You can check out the website, nartapes.com slash utg. There's a bunch of fun, um, interactive stuff you can do there, and, um, Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that motherfucking like button. Do you know who um, our guest is going to be this Wednesday on Art Tape Night Live? I have no our idea. Flagship program. I have no idea. Our good friend, creator of the television show Workaholic. No way. Uh, Kyle Newichek. No way. And he's a Hollywood director, and so I'm going to ask him uh, how. Who's, who's dick do you have to blow <laughs> to uh, to get a TV show in LA? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him how, how they got so many M Michael Keatons for multiplicity. What kind of Hollywood trick is that? <laughs> yeah, because there's only one Michael Keaton, right? Yeah, I think so, maybe not. How many uh, did they have to pay each of them? Yeah, I you know, okay, 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 okay. ten times as much. <laughs> Michael Keaton's a fucking great actor. Yeah. Um, he's got enough. He's got enough acting in him, in him to split it up amongst several. <laughs> Multiplied versions of himself. Totally. All right, so I am going to ask him that. It's going to make him laugh. We don't just cook food on this show. We also smoke weed and and partake in um, the imbibing of alcoholic beverages from time to time. I need. Um, okay, I'll just stand. How about that? Oh, this weed looks so crazy. It smell it. Smells like barbecue sauce. Yeah. Right? Or it's, it's, it's weird. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got that, that mesquite smoky yeah. kind of. Maybe it's... Was near a fire or something. Yeah, maybe. 
Um, Alex just says, Nars only smoking joints, joint farm to table. There you go. What's up, Alex? It's good to see you in the chat. Love seeing you um, watching the show. And um, yeah, thank you guys to all our uh, new viewers. Uh, if you're just joining us, I am making two different types of chicken salad today. I'm getting fat with skinny Jesus. Um, this is um, the cooking show we do right here on the Nard Tapes Network. We have a bunch of other fun, fun programming. We do, um, are we doing karaoke tomorrow? Uh, yeah. We do Nariyoki, which is a karaoke fun times right here um, on the Nard Tapes Network. We do that every Monday night. Tuesday night, we have a paranormal show where we talk all things um, spooky, conspiracy theory shit, um, UFOs, secret space programs, gnomes, you know, crazy, unexplained paranormal phenomena. Um, that's our Tuesday night programming. And then on Wednesday night, we have our flagship show, um, Nartapes Night Live, which is pretty much, we sit around, we get fucking wasted, and we shoot the shit with you, and it's a really awesome, fun time. Um, I think Wednesday night is everyone's favorite show. And if, if, if you guys have a... If you guys have a different show that's your favorite, let me know. And, um, yeah, I love the Wednesday night show. That is definitely one of my favorite favorite shows that we do. Um, Human says, uh, or, yeah, Human says, Nariyoki Monday now? I'm into it. Yeah, we're going to do these shows every week. So, um, I guess the schedule now is, um, like I just said, Sunday is getting fat with Skinny Jeezy. We're Jeezy. Skinny Jesus, we're making food. Monday night, we're doing Nariyoki. Um, hosted by Nar Tapes, that's us, Nariyoki, karaoke, we sing songs, and on that particular show you can donate um, a little bit of money and we'll sing, we'll sing whatever song you want to sing. Tuesday night, Paranormal Show, Wednesday night, Nar Tapes Night Live, so that is the new schedule of programming for the Nar Tapes Network, and, um, and hey, I hope you guys enjoy. Did we already get us a donation or still? I don't think so. I don't think we did. I didn't see it. Says we, it says up in the goal, we have to have 420, but I don't think we made anything. Oh, that might have been damn. from last week or something. I asked them to go to the site. I also have some other stuff here if you guys are interested. I have some rare NAR tapes. I found a few copies of uh, of um, DJ Mr. The Best, NAR 121, uh, Lexington, Kentucky. This shit's really, really good. I have three of these. And I also have, luckily, five of the Mental Theo NAR tapes. Oh, wow. Uh, and I think we'll all have download codes as well on all the Mr. DJ Mr. The Best and Metal Theo. This is like Metal Theo is like old 90s like Gabber, like happy hardcore stuff. And he let us do a tape of his back in like 2012 or something. This is NAR, I don't know what number this is, but we have some of these stuff for you. For you guys, I also have two of the more each 7 inches and uh, necklaces. The and necklace have pouch? That, the, the neck pouch. And I also have... One Jerry Rogers uh, CD from NAR, one 34 track CD NAR, the complete Uncle Funkel, and one Skinny Jesus CD. They all have cool oh, wow. stickers on them, and they're all original. These are really cool. So, yep. uh, up to you guys. Let us know in the chat, in the comments, and uh, we'll, we'll make a deal. There you go. Uh, please go to the website, nartapes.com slash GTD. We have some more stuff up there. Um, but if you did like what you saw, one of those fun, new, exclusively rare, um, old school Narc Tapes items, just hit us up in the chats and we'll uh, we'll get you going on that, huh? 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 Very cool. Grilling it up. All right, we're doing pan fried chicken. Nothing better than a pan fried chicken. Oh, yeah. You want to go to the joint? Yeah, let's do it. This weed looks so crazy, I feel like I should have put like a, uh, a cigarette filter in there. <laughs> weed looks rough. You know? Oh, there's a little piece of... Oh. I'll suck that out. You know, at the end of the day, though, weed is weed. And sometimes... Some shitty weed is better than no weed this at is, all. You know, you know what the funny thing is? What's that? When I was in Brazil, you know, I talked about how the brick weed was pretty decent and it was green. Mm -hmm. But then when you showed me Mahuga, which is their, like, slang for, uh, for like, like, weed on bud, bud weed. Like, like Samia or whatever, like. It's, like, not brick. It's, like, the weed that's actually oh, all. Oh, it comes, it's like yeah. a bud, weed bud. It was Mahuga, and he showed me, and that shit was m way better looking than the shit he showed me. <laughs> Not this bad. reminds me of, like, European weed. Not bad. Reminds me of, like, weed you get in, like... Reminds me of uh, some high school weed or something. Yeah, you buy it from the Juggalo. 
Yeah. Like varsity wrestling team. Oh, you'd buy it from your homie whose brother grows it in the backyard or whatever. Mm. Or has a homie or whatever. Who so knows how all these people are getting their weed. <laughs> they steal it from their dad who's growing it. And they just, like, take little nuts out there without their dad knowing it's all for their school friends. You steal my plant? I'm grounded because I'll stole my dad's dog. <laughs> I didn't do my homework. Well, he was just mad that I wasn't splitting the profits with him, so he grounded me. <coughs> yeah, that was a good one. It's pretty harsh, but... Yeah, it's harsh. <coughs> when I say tour, I, uh, I like smoking. It's like Swedish weed. Yeah. <laughs> it does have a very mesquite, smoky flavor. I suggested to Isaac maybe this was grown next to some sort of fire. Uh, there's just there's something going on there. there. How much do you want for both those tapes and the three CDs? The three CDs, uh, the only one, the last ones I have, so. I feel like I we used to sell CD. those. They were, 10 10. Start, they were 10 when we were selling them, so I'll start them at 10. If anybody wants the CDs more than human, they can bid them up. And then the tapes could be five each, just first come, first serve. Because I have three of them, uh, DJ Mitch the best, and five of the Metal Theo. So the big package is 45 bucks. That's somebody trying to beat it to the punch. Oh, I try to get the scene for him. Because I will, I'm down to, to auction those off. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good in, in times of economic uncertainty to let the market decide a, yeah. uh, a, a value. Yeah. So I'm going to say I'm starting them off at 10, but if anybody break. wants them for more, don't be afraid to speak up in the chat. Um, I saw a really interesting image the other day. I think Justin Sewell from X XSM posted it. I told Isaac about this, I think. Uh, when uh, Ronald Reagan was running for re-election, he got like 97% of the electoral votes. Minnesota was the only blue state in that election. In what? In the Ronald Reagan re-election. That is insane. I guess what's his name, dude? The caucus? The caucus, yeah. That's why he didn't win. Yeah, because the electoral college didn't vote for him? <laughs> Whatever that means. Like Coral College fucking news. Wait, the bullshit. I don't even know. You can say that maybe even wait for when more people are here. Might be a good call. Well, you get the CDs or the tapes at least for now. Go bring it over here. Did you get grapes? No, I did. I'm gonna do apple. All right. Hey, hello. hello. What's up? I like the apple zone in the uh, the crispier. I like the texture. I bought some delicious honey crisp apples. <laughs> sprouts. Go for the assistant cameraman now. Good direction, baby. Good direction. Good job, go man. Don't put too much apple in there, it's gonna be all crunchy and weird. That's the bit. That's the point. That's not good. You don't like that? No, it's too sweet. No, I never had apple with no chicken salad. You haven't had chicken salad then, bro. It's great. I know, but apples is way better. No, it's not. They're harder. Way harder. And I won't put any apples in it. Here's a vowel for sure. Grip the tapes. Ten. Cool. Yep. All yours, buddy. Um, if you want me to send them tomorrow, throw another 363 on shipping, or if you just want to wait until later in the week, and you can put stuff together. It's all on you. <coughs> but just let me know. You can just put chopped apples on the side in a bowl. Yeah, we'll just do that if you don't like that. No, I, I, that's a little too sweet. Yeah, if you don't, I won't put it in there if you don't, if you don't want it. We'll just put it on the side. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, but yeah. on the side, I might put a couple on there, but I'm just afraid of it too many apples. Well, the, the whole chicken salad thing is a beautiful harmony of even, even ingredients, you know? Mm, I've never heard of apples in chicken salad. Oh, man. That's really where it's at. Uh, the, where grapes, you, the grape is cool. Where did you get an apple one? I don't know. They have, that people do that. Yeah, Subway does that. Subway did that. I've gotten it at delis. Yeah. Traditionally, it is great. You're right about that. But the apple is just better because it's crispy and it has that nice crisp to it. That's why I don't like eating apples. Because of how crispy they are. You don't like eating apples? They're not. They're crispy but soft. How do they hurt your teeth? By, by, by gums. Ah. Uh, well, so you're them. probably eating yeah, the wrong kind of apple. Well, it's an acidic thing. Uh, tartaric acid, malic acid. It's a, I think in apples, it is a... It is a malic acid. And, <coughs> well, grapes are a tartaric acid. Mm -hmm. I learned this when I worked at Well, at least 
And, you know, we're not eating it off the thing, so it's not going to hurt to keep it that way. I'll probably pay for shipping, but I also still got to email you all about some items I was missing in my last order, too. Oh, yeah, should be a message about that. I thought I had everything, but it was a little confusing after we have, like, a new, implementing a new style. I'm trying to pack orders, like, right as I get them and try to ship out as possible. So we've been transitioning. So there might be a few things. But let me know. I'll put them in there. And uh, I'll just throw them in your shipping thing now. Very good. Got a bit of goo. MSQ Studio Smith of Man, Ricky, you know a lot about acid. Uh, I know a little bit about some food acid from when I used to do cupping every single Monday through Friday for like four years. Uh, when the, all they did was talk about that stuff. I'm uh, pretty much yeah, just repeating the things. Acids that, uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah. I, I, Mr. Funkel over here actually knows a lot more about uh, uh, the other acid. Oh, uh, LSD 25. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much I know about it, but I have a lot of experience taking uh, under, it under its influence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mostly quite good. Mostly really, really good experiences. Yeah, I would say that acid is great. It's just like it's like uh, one of those things, though, man. You you don't want to like like overdo it. overdo it. Yeah. You can overdo it. I that's, did one winter. <laughs> that's the I, thing. Uh, I also had a, like a winter day. of, of, <laughs> of c- a couple times a week kind of thing. Some people do that. And I, ha- I needed that phase in my life, I think. I know people do that, and they're, they're weird now. Yeah, yeah well, it's like, like the, whole, the whole trip is like, fine. the whole trip is like, like a psychosis thing, you know? So yeah. it's like, you're like, whoa, this is like, psychosis is fun. And then like, then eventually you're going to be like, oh shit, now I have like, <laughs> Suffer from severe psychosis. I think I was bored in Seattle. I was like, <laughs> you know, oh yeah, like that sounds that sounds like what it is. I've never taken too much acid, but I've definitely taken too many mushrooms like for a long period of time, and not had to like not take any psychedelics for years after that. Yeah. For a while, I had serious anxiety for a while, and yeah. didn't really know how to what was going on, and it was all from PTSD from uh, having an extremely traumatic experience on mushrooms, where I was hallucinating, peeking out my own guts, and like I was like in this. Like trying to lay in this bed to try to like, to try to, like, to, like chill. So the bed was like, like raising in like cues and forms like coming out of the bed. And it's like a trash compactor. I thought I was getting swallowed with a weird trash compactor. It was not good. Uh, it was uh, a really bad trip, dude. <laughs> it was like one of the worst experiences of my life. I love in, uh, we're speaking of our our guest on Wednesday, Kyle Miwicek from Workaholics. We might bring Josh from nice. his, his amazing, amazing drummer uh, in every way <laughs> that I have know about him so far. Josh from Fit Up, Fit Up, I Bye. But yeah, in um, in that episode of Workaholics in the first season, when they um, they take mushrooms uh, uh, after after hours at work, and then the, when the IT guys show up, they think that they're trying to steal the the stuff, and so they do like a whole load stuff thing. But when they <laughs> first start coming up, like if they start looking crazy, like they all say like they just each say like some really funny shit. Like Thurs is like 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 he turns, he's like, will I take? This world by storm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, so, that's the one I remember. But Blake says something else. Like, too. Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 Human says. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Human says acid is dope. Only done it twice. Human says had a great time both times. Hard did it like five times this month. Oh, you crazy dude. Yeah. Nice. He's, uh, that's he's, a lot. Dude, I hadn't had a connect since like 2013. Uh, so he, he hadn't did it. Like, yeah. Half a decade. So I don't. Good. I don't really have a, a, a solid connect, but I do run into it a lot. And I can get a. I can get acid in the next hour probably. But I know people who know people. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a. Like Mike, a I was gonna say I would. Yeah, my first. I would ask Ricky. Yeah. To help me. I can find everything except heroin. I have to stay away from that stuff. Uh, but everything else in that, I can find it. <laughs> uh, but I don't do. I just smoke weed pretty much. But um. Want yeah. to do some fucking nitrous and get a fight? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. sounds sick. See, that's what people do. They like do whippets yeah. and then go like punch each other. <laughs> that felt crazy, dude. I'm gonna Mommy. Do I remember one time I did a KBDRW for breakfast at ten in the morning, and it cured my hangover. Yeah. You guys know what a KBDRW is out there? It is a key bump. Uh, my key bump was actually a- crushed Adderall, which is disgusting. Uh, KBDRW. So the KB is a key bump. The DR is the dab rig, and the W is the whippet. And you do all of that, like, like how I can strike out. And I did that one time, uh, first thing in the morning in San Francisco, and uh, it, it put me right. <laughs> it yeah. sort of put me right. Yeah. I was fine. I was in a sore, sorry state before that. And after that, I went and had a whole day. It's a very noisy little uh, little practice. It's like, like, yeah. <laughs> and then like, 
Yeah, alarm clock, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the sound alone is gonna like bring you out of, like wake you up. Shh. Give me this damn wish I had a hookup for acid. Yeah, that'd be sick. For you? You're out you in the Midwest, dude. They got hell acid out there. That's where they make that shit. So yeah, you can make, make that shit. It's, it's hard though. Best, yeah. We have a friend in in Belgium who uh, is always making synthetic LSD and testing it out on me. Tell me how this like one twice. Feels. You so yeah, Ricky, like get me some DMT. Seven. That will take me a little more rounding up, but I, I bet I can find it. DMT is a really weird one. It's hard to find and it's expensive, and there's many forms of it, yeah. and some are where it's extremely expensive. Well, we're talking like $85 for a single hit. Maybe more. So there's like something like the, boy, the plastic the plastic ones. Pure TNT, that just could be like over 100 bucks. Yeah. For one hit, one trip. Yeah, and I've only I've only ever actually like seen that kind of thing um, a couple times. So I never smoked that kind of DMT. Or I've smoked it like four times. I smoked like that, like a DMT residue bowl uh, accidentally the first time when I was in Salt Lake City. And that I sucks. That. that seems like a pretty bad. I had like a great for, time though. Yeah. I had a great time. I was prepared for it. I, I, I seriously, like, we were partying in Salt Lake City and there were these two houses. We were going back and forth on the same street, the same block. And there were like, these two punk houses. We were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and went to this one, one of the houses and this girl sitting on the couch. And there's like these two couches like facing a, a coffee table, like such a stoner like situation. Go in there, there's a bong, I'm like, oh yes, and it's ripped the bong <laughs> without even asking. And then she goes, it's DMT. And straight up, her voice sounded crazy, yeah. and I was like, what the fuck? And I sat down on the couch, and I was like, <laughs> and I had this whole trip with like this, tiki, like this water bottle on the table, sort of like, became this like tiki man. Who was yeah, like, the little, the, yeah. the gnomes, yeah. dude. He was a tiki man, but, no. but he was like, yo, Ricky, it's me, it's you. You're just smoking DMT. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy, and then I it only lasted like five minutes, and then I went outside and I was like, that was fucking. Wild. I ran outside the sand stop too. Yeah, All right, I think I ran out to you guys. Uh, so Jordan says, damn, eighty five for a hit, dog. He says, he said, in OC, it's even more expensive. It's bad. Damn. Damn for a one hit of DMT, yeah, because that shit, people, everybody wants it. It's, it's hard to get the real stuff. Yeah, it's hard to get, hard to make. Hey, get in here. Guard dog. What's up, Dez? Out there on the Twitch chat says, "What the fuck are you guys doing? I'm making chicken salad, bro. Oh. We're making some din din lunch din. Uh, we're making it for dinner tonight, and then we'll probably have a bunch, and we can make sandwiches for the next couple of days. It's gonna be yeah. sweet." <laughs> <laughs> that that, that dad be looking so bad. Carly G is here. Says, "What's up, boy? Yees. What's up, Carly, Carly! G?" Carly. Sartoris is here saying, uh, <laughs> "Is DMT something you'd want to do multiple times a day, or is it once a day? Is once a day enough?" Well, I uh, I wouldn't even know about once a day. Uh, I would do it very it, often. It, it, and this is worth worth saying as well is like, like I'm not really too. I'm good on that. I'm pretty stoned. Um, I'm not really too worried ab about like taking it too much and getting psychosis, which is a possibility, or um, post traumatic stress disorder, depending on what could happen. Um, but there is a certain point where. Your mind can't really process it the same way. So, like, if you take, like, Satoris, I think he said five times this month. Like, I wouldn't really want to take a LSD more than twice in, like, a week or two-week period because I don't feel like I would trip. Yeah, you would stop tripping eventually, yeah. I feel like. But, you know, <laughs> there's a definite zone. The Deemsters trip, I would definitely do right now if it were around. I would do it right now, too. Um... The thing I like about DMT, it's like not, it's really, really intense, but it's not such a commitment like um, yeah. acid is or mushroom. Yeah, it's very, very much less of your day. But you know, the, it, it has after effects, and those might, no, those you, are might like you in got, your brain. You but got afterglow for like yeah. at least four or yeah. five hours, but it's yeah. not like you're, uh, you're fucking, afterglow? it's not like yeah. four after, it's not I like, I would say so. It's not like four hours after you take DMT, you're like, okay, now it's come, it's, now it's yeah. gonna hit really hard or whatever, you know? Maybe maybe some out of context, like some other person walking in to do the afterglow might think you look pretty weird. Yeah, like of course. And Isaac were like all sweaty and like just kind of like sprawled out on the couch. Weird, weird positions, like thinking about shit. That was sick. <laughs> was that in uh, Rotterdam? That was in in no, that was in Antwerp where. Where we did at that. With oh, and oh, dude, in Rotterdam, that shit was actually pretty mild. It was like yeah, it was I was like smoke was. some DMT and I was like yeah, what is like, it? What do you mean? He was like oh, it's DMT. I was like no, but like. I've done lots of DMT, like, what are you talking about? And he was like, well, check it out. And it was like, I think it was that Changa stuff, but it seemed pretty mild. Um, it smells like he listened to it and hallucinated. Yeah. Ew, it smells like chicken. Delicious. But he started, uh, 
um, a few minutes into the trip, where I was just sitting there thinking about how it was pretty mild, uh, but he started doing this like real skinny, like kind of like electro goth kind of looking dude with long hair. Uh, Dutch, you know, the way Dutch say everything is like, no matter what they're saying, they sound like they're fine and happy. Dutch, yeah, like that. Um, and he, uh, he started doing some Peruvian style throat singing. Uh, and he was pretty fucking good, I would say. Yeah, he was nailing it. He was like, you know, I can't do it, but like, like he just started doing it out of nowhere while we were tripping. It was cool. It was a very mild trip, though. I was thinking the whole time, like, man, if only I was really falls deep, that would have been really, really cool. Because he was good. Got the multiple notes. Oh, yeah, I remember you know, the guys, uh, the Moth Hand Museum is going to buy the Moth Hand Pins. Oh, yeah. Like, next to this week, probably. Very cool. All right, so I finished my Congratulations to our uh, artist in residence, Ricky Gage, president of the company. Why did he get the pins to the official Moth Hand Museum? Yeah. Like, yeah, that, was, a, really that cool. was like a dream that you uh, realized quite, qu quite, qu quite quickly. Oh, I want to make a picture of the Moth Museum. Yeah. I love Moth Hand. Yeah, I got the Moth Hand prophecies, uh, like... Yeah. I got obsessed and then I made the pin and that now the official Moth Man Museum carries my pin. Yeah. Pretty, really, pretty cool. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, Alright, quick update. Just finished the chicken. It's really hot. Um, like I said That's earlier, chicken. chicken salad is a cold yeah. is a dish served cold. Hit it with the nitrous. Um, so, uh, put it in a bag. Ideally, ideally, you just want to let it go down, but I'm going to toss it in the freezer for a little bit just to give it a little chill, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not good for your freezer, but it'll, it'll work. Yeah, and fuck the freezer, man. Hey, it's been a good one. It worked real good. Um, all right. So, um, what's up with this crazy-ass world we're living in? I've been talking about that shit all day. We're all complacent. Turns out. Dude, uh, here's, here's a good one. I was on People got likes for you, but no love. I'm going to use this for a second. Cool. USB, USB extender, I think. Yeah. What do you need? Just a USB, a USB to USB. Oh, plug in the printer. I have that's, one over there. That's there's, a, there's a gray one over there. That's USB type C. I have one in there. And it's in, you plug in. into the oh. back. Not If you're thinking, looking at the front, that's, oh. a USB, that's a storage device. There's a plug in the back. Or, or there's a, there's a okay. cable in the back already of the printer. You can that same type of USB I gave you the other day, USB Type C. Yeah, well, because it has to go into my laptop. It's got that. Yeah, so it's USB Type C on one end, and then mail USB A on on the other. Okay, but there's one in the back too. Yeah. All right, so let me just explain what, what what I did really quick, and then we'll get back into this yeah. fucked up world <laughs> things. I love it. I can't stop thinking. I think about it all the time. Yeah, no. Um. Me anyways, too. so in my bowl here, I had a little bit of onions. I had some celery. Um. I put in some fresh chopped parsley. I got some uh, dried cranberries. I love dried cranberries. Yeah, cranberries are the bomb. They're delicious. They're super so good. this is gonna be like the you know the veggies pretty much of the first style of chicken salad, and then the second one is gonna be my curry stees. So what I'm gonna throw into that one is I still have some celery and onions. That's always the good base for uh, like a good chicken salad. And I got some dried golden raisins, not raisins, and then some uh, some cashews. Cashews nice. For the curvy one. So I'll work on that. Are you gonna chop the cashews? I'm gonna chop up. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe these I might just bunch yeah. up in the bag because I kind of want like half, half size, you know? Yeah. Like half, half, half of these. And then these I'm gonna if definitely you, cut. If I were gonna leave them, you know, it'd be really good too. If like you had like an oven more time, is if you like oiled them and then hit those with some curry powder. Oh, uh, like, like in the uh, pan or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That toasted, that good. toasted with curry, extra curry. Also, added benefit, I heard that um, uh, I heard that celery volumizes your ejaculate. Yeah. Oh wow! I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. No. So I just I just so heard that. It makes your your, your load like thicker. <laughs> bigger, <laughs> bigger, bigger, more, bigger load. Yeah. More, more celery. celery. Wow. I actually learned that in sex ed. Yeah. And uh, they, it they didn't they teach, teach me that. that. That's true, actually. Like, you know. Does celery make your load bigger? <laughs> <laughs> those guys are taking pills, though. Those really big loads on the yeah, they, internet. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> yeah, I said, though, the, the teacher was like, semen is mostly comprised of natural sugars. And this one girl was like, then why does it taste so sweet? <laughs> 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 oh! Damn. They got 
Yeah. What? She was like, what? Say something then. Do something. I'll prove it. <laughs> oh man, they got some crazy ass porno out there now too. <laughs> they got, you know, what's funny is like all these people like, like who have like open access to like, like it's amazing like Unity and, uh, and um, Unreal are like both pretty much open source. And like a lot of people are just making these crazy pornos. These crazy pornos, yeah. Beautiful. It is pretty cool. I'm Makes you wonder some of it. I don't really like watch those ones. I watch reg real regular people, or like people. I, ch I I like to go pretty deep sometimes. Yeah. It's all it's all it's some pretty good laughs sometimes too. For sure. I I feel like they're all, you know. I like how on the pirate bay it's like like. Like it's always just like some tits, and it's like want a Russian, <laughs> want a Russian hot girl now? Click this. <laughs> or like you won't even last five minutes in this game. It's like what to like come? What are you talking about? <laughs> like oh, there it is. Oh, we made a sale. Perfect fantasy. Did we? Yeah. Nice. I'm human. There we go. Very good. So that was probably for uh, some of the sets. Thank you, human. Just got that in there. Very good. We're uh. Darn chicken salad. How much was that for? Let's see. Um, uh, Carly Juice says they say pineapple juice makes it sweet. I feel like everybody knows that. Now. I did hear that. Um, Human says I've heard that too. Carly haven't tried it though. LOL. Me neither. Yeah, I've never really tried that as well. Thirteen seventy-two. It says for both of those tapes. Sick. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Human, for that sale. That was really awesome. If you want to do like you. Go to the website nartapes.com slash gtg and uh, throw in a uh, throw in a sale. Just buy a tape, buy a record, do the dang thing. He even says, yeah, it was just for those tapes. I just did a record and said it in the note. Okay, very cool. That's good. That works. So I got some uh, some walnuts here. I'm breaking them up into the salad. You don't want like the hugest pieces. I'm not, not about that. I'm gonna break these up a bit. What do you guys, everyone here, and you guys out on the internet, think of the WooCommerce receipt? Are the colors too much? Do you want it to say something more? I want to make the comments bigger. That's probably that's something I'm going to do. I like it. I like it too. I think the colors are fine. It works. It's uh, it's very uh. It matches. It it was. I ma I made it to match the old Nart Tapes website build. Yeah. So maybe I could update it. Colors are cool. It's like a uh, maybe like more mild would be a more professional vibe. Yeah, it looks like a good like that would. It looks like a minion with pink hair. Yeah, it does. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> cute. Yeah, minions are the new uh, definition of cute. Yeah, they did it. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those minions are pretty funny. Min minions or, or Despicable Me? Despicable Me, but that's where they were from. Yeah. Dis Despicable Me, I remember seeing, uh, yeah, 2009, I think, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, Trey Parker is the voice of the bad guy in the new one, and I was really excited about that. I didn't know that when I went into it on the airplane. And you watched it? Yeah, and because I watched Minions as well, and so I was like, all right, I'll check out this Despicable Me 3, because I'd only seen the first one, and it was pretty good, and I really like Trey Parker, so. That's cool. pumped on that. He's getting, that's cool he's getting work. Yeah. And, and as an actor. Well, dude, they're worth like fucking $500 million. Yeah, he, he don't need to do that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he don't need to do that. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's awesome. He does a Cartman. Oh, well, the last one I want to look up is uh, Cartman in other languages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I want to look up a video uh, of that. Like. That's pretty good. <laughs> and if there isn't one, we should make that super cut. I had uh, downloaded, oh, it's me, Des says, yo, what the fuck are you guys doing on Twitch? <coughs> Make it food. Yeah, Make it some food. I hollered at that fool. I'm going to use more stuff. Oh, this one's selling some nuts. You got to put the nuts in this one, bro. It's crazy how the, the Twitch people will be like, 
you guys are tight. Like, what's going on? I love this. And then they're gone right away. That's a bitch. Yeah. They're on the next one. Yeah. Twitch. Twitch is cool. I remember when I first found out about Twitch, um, it was because this couple was making so much money and they were just getting wasted and running raids on two separate computers. It was a stream of two of the two different computers, and it was a couple. And they were getting and they were drinking, and getting wasted and playing World of Warcraft. And it was fucking sick. And That's I was like, good. Twitch, that's a good ass idea. That's pretty good. World of Warcraft. What a great game. Yeah. That was a beautiful, beautiful game. Uh, Carly says, what is every Despicable Me toy is a government spying device? Yeah. They might not need to do that. They might already have some pretty good devices in place. Yeah, me. Yada da, yada da, yada. Let me check on this. Yeah, fresh, fresh grilled chicken. You gotta cool it down for the chicken salad, though. Not that a hot chicken salad sandwich would be bad. I told, I asked Avalon to cut my hair because I have split ends. What do you guys think? What would you do with my, your hair if you were me? Funk ball. I think you should shave it. My last haircut um, was a skullet, and it's this is what it's looked like growing out since then for a while. So now the top doesn't really have any shape, it just kind of looks like it's all long. I also need to cut some shape into my weird beard. I think you you should pick it and go tea. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, Walter White. Yes, precisely. <laughs> Walter White. I think that'd be so sick. Yeah, look, look dope. <laughs> you look fucking dope. You look hard as fuck. You could wear that that collar around your neck and shit, and you look fucking hard. It'd be sick. Yeah, I have a little mole on my head somewhere too, and I have this like Harry Potter scar. Uh, I don't have anything to lose. We are filming something pretty soon. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Wait. That'd be crazy look. <laughs> yeah. I could. I we could do a, cra a crazy look for it. Picking it would be pretty fun. That would be like. Um, be symb very symbolic. Carly says, "Do an undercut." Um, he even says, "I've been considering the undercut sides. I think, or or like the the high fade pomades yeah. to pine." You know, the all right look, I think that'd be really yeah. funny too. Yeah, that's the thing I was gonna do the Ross, but now that's like the all right. But like well, the they, Ross, they, the Ross, the Ross is, I feel like the Ross, Ross thing is like a sure. gel forward and you flip, yeah, flip, flip the front. The all right is like pomade and to to one side, to the right. They always comb it to the right. Oh. All <laughs> right. All right now. Ah, uh, man. Well, I try not to give a shit about any of that stuff. That's kind of been one of my like artistic credos. It's not about that. Yeah. The world is so much deeper than those things. Just a bit deep. Yeah, picking it is 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 my favorite of the like wild ideas I've had for a while. I, like I would that. rather bake it than go back to the skull. Eh? Yeah. Um. Uh -huh. Big goatee, man. What about like a bob with bangs? There you go. I like that too. <laughs> like a, like the rivers Cuomo, like oh or just bangs. If you ever shaved your head, way it would be fun to like just cut it as you go until you get to the end in different ways, just to see. Yeah. That. <laughs> I want to like. like I, I need to like make a Photoshop like, mock-up of it I'm before like, I, oh, so before I make a decision. You What if I did the uh, what if I did just the ponytail and the rest the rest was big? I had so many memories of like growing up in Oregon and like seeing like my, my neighbors with all their toys in their yard and there's like a Barbie head out there. Like, <laughs> oh, what the Yeah, you know, I could go for an even crazier WrestleMania look. Like, like uh, what do you think? Like a really little bit long. Hey Poobut's here, what's up Poobut? Um and what's up Bree? Good to see you, Bree. <laughs> 
Cuban says, when I donated my hair, they gave me a bowl cut, basically. It was like brother from Boy Meets World, the brother. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Eric. Eric? Eric Matthews. <laughs> That's right. I do remember that. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I'm making chicken salad. We're almost there. Just waiting for the chicken to cool a little bit, and then we'll, uh, we'll get our game on. How about that? I can't wait for the huge load that this celery is going to give me. <laughs> You're going to test it out tonight? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Got to keep regular maintenance. Yeah, you got you to gotta drain the pipes, keep them <laughs> clear. Anyway, you know what it is, Nartage Network, y'all. Pre-baked <laughs> in the building, humans up here. We got our homies that are here like every time. That's right, the homies. What's up? How y'all doing? And you know what it do. We're the fucking crazy musicians that live over here and do the live streams. We got a store up in the front, 3436 North Figueroa Street, Los Angeles, California, 90065. Check us out. We're open from 4 to 8 on weekdays, 12 to 8 on weekends, and at uh, with, at appointments you can make as well. And we're always here. If you want to check out our studio, check out our media studio, my web de design studio, the the recording studio. We got all that. Come check us out. You can go to studionar.com, check out uh, some pics of the recording studio. They're actually pretty old pics, but got more shit now. We do. And um, yeah, it'd be, we'd love to see you guys in the building. How about that? You guys ever heard of uh, music? We're like all about that, so you can go to narcade.com slash gpg and get our music. We like to write lots of different styles of songs and make lots of different styles of recordings. We're like a publishing uh, company. We license out these original recordings to companies sometimes, usually for like their TV shows, not really for advertisements. But I'd be down. I'm down to sell it to that kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. That's a good, the, the song going to be tight, so what difference does that make? Probably like says, I have never heard of music. I prefer music. I was saying we should change the name of music for fun and amongst ourselves so we can call it something new. My suggestion was Wimpax. Wimpax? Yeah, W I M P A X. I don't know why it's just felt like the you turn the you turn the M around in music, you get the W. And it's two syllables and it just sounded fun for me to say. That does sound pretty good. It's like hey, Wimpax. I'm just working on some Wimpax. I guess it's harder to say because you go Wimpax. I guess win packs is, is easier with an M. They say M is a power letter. M? Yeah, M. Like Mary. I wonder, I wonder what the, why that is. What's the significance? How? I guess because it, it is. Is this the sound of it? Like, yeah, it uh, strikes fear well, in the mm. Yeah, the mm is definitely a, like one of the first resounding sounds. So that's like a, that's like a key. That's like, you know. Early man probably went. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's a good call. So there's like that. There's lots of M's when you grunt. And right? then ge geographic or ge geometrically, it's a, it's a strong, right? Yeah, it's, it looks good. It's standing on its two, its two M legs. Yeah. With the big M triangle point going down in the middle. It's looking a lot better than N, that's for sure. Yeah. N is not <laughs> my favorite. Fl uh, okay, flume pack. Plume blocks, loop <laughs> doop, instead rub tub is good. Instead of music, crimplex. That's my new, new name for music. Crimplex. Uh -huh. I like to sing, <coughs> and I play guitar and I play bass and I like to play the keyboards a lot. That's kind of my favorite pastime, and uh, um, and I produce and compose, and uh, yeah. Pretty good at all those things, too. Those are the things I like to do. Hey, Davey. Hey. What's up, David? You look distressed, kind of. It's freezing outside. Oh, uh, maybe the big one's coming. Ah. Good breath. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. So who's coming? The big one. There was an earthquake the other night, I think. Yes, there was an earthquake. I felt it. Uh, we felt yeah. all felt yeah. it when we were in here. Yeah. No, I was, I was at your house. We were in here, and we all felt yeah. it. Yeah. It was just like... Two nights ago? Yeah. 
Yeah, we all felt this. We were like, whoa, that's not so bad. It wasn't that crazy. It was only something in the room. It was like it was something. I'm going to dip my bread in this chicken grease. Good. Carly says greetings, David. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I'm not taking a beer. They can hear you. Mm -hmm. If doing, they listen, they're always listening, huh? You want a sandwich, David? Oh, I'd love a sandwich. That's great. So I'm just kind of cutting it up. We're almost there, guys. Got some mixings to do. Or about some lettuce and some tomatoes. We can Beautiful. fill those on the sandwiches. I got another loaf of bread. How was the bread? Okay. You want that one? Have you made sandwiches yet? No. I mean, I have before. How's the chicken grease, Muggle? <laughs> Quite good. Huh? Quite good. It's chicken essence. This yeah. is your favorite, right, Funkle? Chicken salad? Sandwiches. Oh, that's, but that's Ricky's favorite. I do like sandwiches. That should be your biography between two slices of bread. Mm -hmm. I love that. Ricky Gage story. You saw this one, right? The Duke of Sandwich. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's a fucking sick. That guy. Salad, right? The bread with the spaghetti in it? What the fuck? Spaghetti oh, sandwich pin? That's, that's amazing. Sick. That's sick. The bread's that's awesome. Where'd you get that? Yeah, it's really good. Well, it was like San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Sprout? Sprout? Yeah, you got really good bread there. It's kind of nice bread. Hell yeah. yeah. I got my cold chicken, cold, cold chicken. It's cold now? Well, fair, fair enough. Yeah, it's cold now? Yep, had it in the freezer for a bit. That's good. And I'm just kind of chopping it up to make it a little smaller. That's the cool thing about the chicken salad, you know, it has all that mayo and shit in it, and it gets pretty viscous, and yeah. you know, like, it really mm, stains your sandwich, yeah. you know? Dude! I bought two. No, <laughs> Man, there's a lot of cream in there. Alright. You might be a redneck. I'm gonna keep cutting this. If you. Um, <laughs> mayonnaise. Man, there's a lot of people at this party. <laughs> if you cut your chicken with some scissors, you might be a redneck. If you use the propane skitter in the house, you might be ready. It's the worst one with Bill Hengball. Yeah, Bill Hengball. Use your sign. <laughs> um, Larry the Cable Guy is pretty embarrassingly bad. <laughs> like, oh, just like, he's good in cars, and he seems like he's an alright guy, but his comedy is really... Um, Special. Just not. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's funny. <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's funny. I don't care who you are, that's funny is the funniest thing he says. Get her done is annoying. It gives me chills up my spine. Him and Owen. Him and Owen Wilson in cars is cute. I'm down. It's also funny. Have you seen like his old thing where he's just like the like Miami like cool club guy in the '80s and it's like before he was doing the Larry the Cable Guy bit, and he's just, it's just like, man, you're not really a cable guy. <laughs> oh, Make America, get her done again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a hat for you right there. <laughs> it is a hat for you. <laughs> Make America, get her done again. You know what? <clears throat> I'm a redneck just like y'all. President the Cable Only I got $45 million. On the American Bible Challenge. <laughs> the Great American Bible Challenge. Uh, he did that show and then Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one for kids and one for Christian. American Bible Challenge. way more. If you watch a TV on top of another TV, <laughs> you might be a redneck. Here's a redneck word for you. <laughs> Witch attention. <laughs> you didn't bring a winch with your truck, did you? Witch attention. You didn't bring a truck winch with your teacher. <laughs> yeah. My grandpa used to watch that. Uh, we call her comedy, call her comedy oh tour. Oh my god. Ron White. Bill Ingvall. Larry the Cable Guy, and of course, 
It was like their answer to the like the King of, King of, King of, King of Comedy. <laughs> like, you know what? We should do the same thing. We're actually like, you know what? We should take after the Kings of Comedy tour and put together a comedy show. Let me hear your <laughs> best country voice, William. <laughs> or better yet, Phil. <laughs> Jack at Comcast. He was doing the Disney movies too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the very Disney movie. Yeah. He was in uh, uh, Jingle All the Way too. He was pretty good in that. Well, that was a movie that was really bad, but. Aren't all in that? I'm, I'm no. I'm just watching the <laughs> first season of Survivor. Top one bit. And there's some really funny, like, stuff around around the people on that show because of the first Survivor. That, like, I was reading the Survivor Wikipedia and it's like, there's like a page for every alliance that ever happened. <laughs> there was a barbecue alliance, and it was like one episode. At one point, there was a, a short-lived alliance called the Barbecue Alliance, and actually just wasn't an alliance at all. Was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then, like, they just had a barbecue. We go Colleen ended up having like a short-lived career after that. She was in that movie, The Animal, with uh, Rob Schneider. She was offered a hundred thousand dollars to post the Playboy, but she refused. And now she just has a kid. She was like, she was, like surviving. She, had, like, she was like a student. And, like they were trying to get her to do all this other stuff. And, like, dude, like, just gonna be a student. Well, girlfriend, you're really gonna lick that yeah. dirty ass floor just to get I some of those crimes. Help, so big rig. They do. What up? Jeff Dunham's stand up more times than than some underground comics that I would really like that I've never even heard of. You know, it's like weird how that happens. You love to hate that man. Jeff Dunham is maybe the most embarrassing of all is time. Is he the ventriloquist? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, and he's friends with uh, with uh, or was friends with Bruce Jenner. Maybe not is not friends anymore. But I remember that on the uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It's like, oh my God. not friends with Caitlyn. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce was like, oh yeah, then they they were hanging yeah, out. Yeah, like I remember because that. he was giving a speech or something. Oh my God. I also remember then Caitlyn Jenner on, in her like big coming out speech. She was like, the hardest thing about being a woman is deciding what to wear. And everyone was like, yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. You're like, wow, she nailed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, wow, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> I never heard that. Really? That was, uh, that was like a huge thing. Yeah, that was his, her thing that she said on, like, what was it, like, people's, like, uh, accepting the people's magazine award or something? Something like that. Oh, Enzo's here. What's up, Enzo? Enzo. Oh. <laughs> Can you read what Brie Bay's comment is? He says, Salut mes amis, ça va bien aujourd'hui? J'espère que vous avez passé mon très belle journée. Which is, uh, hello, my friends, how are you today? Um, I went, uh, spare, I hope that you have a, you have a good journey. Cool. I don't know what just spare is actually, but I, I something that you go through a good journey. Salt, a little salt, a little fresh cracked pepper, and it says, what's cooking good looking? I made some chicken salad, two different kinds, got some nice bread, um, and we got lunch for the week. I would say it's better the next day, right? It's, it's better the f every, uh, e the every day it's better. that it's already been, yeah, in the fridge. Every bite is better than last. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like literally. With time. It's true. Pardon me. Um, just that he says, close up of the food, please. Yeah, I get it, Uncle. Cameraman, me. All right, so like I said, one is going to be, uh, you know, more classic, regular chicken salad. And this other one I'm doing, the Safeway version of uh, curry chicken salad, which I really love. That's like my favorite shit. So I'm just going to pour a little curry powder in this. Not too much. 
the curry powder is a strong. All right, so in the uh, in the first one, I'm also gonna put a little bit of uh, apple cider just to give it a little something. All right. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of mustard. Best part, the mayo. Oh yeah, let me see this. Oh yeah. Look. Oh, that's somebody's nightmare right there. They hate that so yeah. much. Oh. I had a job that turned me off to mayo for a really long time. Well, it says on the jar that it's the best food. <laughs> You're not calling it out. It's the best food for you. For you. Yeah. I know. Right, squeezing some of the mayo out. Can I mix? Yeah. Can I mix this one? Yeah. Yes. I love the satisfied feeling of mixing mayo. Yeah, it's cool. So right here, guys, is the curry one that I'm mixing here. Oh, it smells nice. Yep, and I'm mixing like the regular, more regular one. That's looking good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that all nice and incorporated and like David was saying you know it's it's even nicer day two day three it's even nicer than day two on day three day four I feel like four or five days is like max on yeah. chicken salad you gotta put chicken in the fridge for like one or two days so. yeah you won't be eaten before that <laughs> and you won't die but you know there's, there's there's levels the chicken is one of the quicker to go yeah All right. Chicken's turning blue. Don't touch that shit. Okay. Oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah you'll die that way. All right, let's try a little bit of this. See where we're at. Think of my mouth water. It has a good sound, too. Yeah. Let me try this one here. Yeah, that's good. Do we need anything? Is it, good? Is it too much curry? Should I put more curry? Mm -hmm. You good? This one's good, too, no. Okay. It's definitely not too much curry. Hell you can maybe yeah. Maybe a little more. Okay. But try it. It's pretty good. Okay. Good. Some other cranberry in there. Oh! That was good, huh? Now, alright, so let's, um, let's do this sort of thing. This is the, uh, the mm. finished, the finished, uh, chicken salad. Got it all mixed together. Um, really easy, guys. There's just uh, some chicken, some onion, some celery, got some fresh parsley, a yeah, little good. mayo, a little mustard, apple cider vinegar, some cranberries, dried cranberries, bam, 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 bam. Okay. It's amazing. Very good. <laughs> and then this one is one you'll probably I see a lot, the, uh, the curry chicken salad. Whole food style. Whole foods, stay away style. Um, this one's really simple, too. It's pretty much all the same I shit. But instead of walnuts, oh I put cashews. It's so good. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. And instead of uh, it's and instead of cr cranberries, I put golden raisins yes. in this one. So um, there you go. Let me chop up some uh, tomatoes and lettuce and let's make some sandwiches, huh? Hell yeah. Yes. Just I put 830. So let's go. Woo. Oh, look at yeah, this good. I think I'm going to put some additional mayo on my bread yeah, with some horseradish. You got to do. That's the that's the thing about this chicken salad sandwich. It's still like a customizable thing for you. You know, you make yourself a sandwich. Like you can put whatever, whatever you a want. Horseradish is good for this kind of thing only because the horseradish fla uh, flavor doesn't really come up with anything. It just makes it a spicy in a way that doesn't. Mm. The horseradish just makes it a horseradish little taste. Little it's not don't fuck with it too much. But if I put like if I put like a sriracha or a yeah, or a tapatio good. or something on there, it, it would still be good. It's nice, huh? Good. Oh, good like that. All right, guys. I'm gonna bite this guy. It's too good. That good. Mmm. That one's good. They're both all good. Actually, you think you can grab me um, the white vinegar that's over there? Wow. For what? I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in that, just nice. to give it a little. Uh, Acid thing because this doesn't have like mustard or anything like that. A tiny bit. Wow. Give us a 
stir. And we'll be in business, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna kick it, right? That'll like go kicking it. Yeah, it's just giving it a little bit of the, the acidity from the uh, from the white vinegar. Will um, you know? It'll, it'll give you more of a full palette of flavors in there because you got sweet, you got salty, you got the smoky with the with the curry. You got the like the kind of uh, you know sour onion thing going on, and then you put a little acid in there that will just like balance everything oh, out. Oh, good call. It's like when you make if you're making spaghetti sauce or whatever. There's definitely a lot of acidity going on in the tomatoes, so to counteract that, you always I always put a little bit of sugar, not enough to even taste the sugar. Like I didn't put enough vinegar for you to taste it, but it'll definitely like uh, break it down a little nicer, and it'll just help the flavors meld a little bit. All right. All right. Let's see. What we got. Yeah. That's done. Good call. That's all it needed. All right, now. Can you get me one of those papers, please, maybe, so I can just lay some of this shit out? Now we'll build some sandwiches, guys. Where are they? On top of the fridge. Uh, it's this nice, Grease? Oh, the paper fresh, paper. or whatever, yeah, kind of work. Just, just for these. One, two, three. Four. Appreciate that, David. Yes, I'm going to put the lettuce and tomatoes on there. I don't know. Cut up that end. Tomaters. Yeah. That was the Larry the Cable Guy's name in cars. Tomater. Tomater. <laughs> it was a tow truck. Tomater. All right. Nice bar Roma tomatoes. A little smaller. A little nicer. And they often have a little peace sign in them. Yeah. Or like a happy face. Yeah. Or the biohazard. Chicken salad, cause it's real, real good. You got a good cut going on, Isaac. Yeah. It's all about the knife. Uh -huh. You, you got a good grip, too. You let the knife do the cutting. You let the sharpness do the sharp thing. And yeah. you're doing the, the grip, right, with the fingers and the knuckles? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't cut yourself. That's yeah. that's the mentality behind, like, the... Uh, I'm not really good with, with my, my technique, but, yeah, definitely you're supposed to, like, do it like that, that way... No way to yeah. chop your finger, you know, while you're dicing. Um, so Tora says, need some pickles and Tabasco. That sounds good. Um, and then Heeman says, leafy. Yeah, all right. So um, I think that's it. I think we're ready. Oh, I wanted some apples. Do you ever make like a fried chicken salad? Would you like make a chicken salad and have like the crispy skin on it? That sounds sick. But like, how would it wouldn't get soggy though, would it? It would definitely get soggy. It would have to be a fresh, a fresh sandwich. Yeah. Like you'd have to have like the chicken fresh, and then you mix it in mayo real quick, yeah. and then you eat it like right there. Okay. That would be sick. Yeah. Because I just had this thing. Uh, what is it? The the uh, pork, fried pork. Uh huh. Chicharrón. Oh yeah. But right, right I know about uh, that. Napoles. Oh well. But like, it's just a sauce, so they so make it. They get soggy again. Oh. It soaks up like a sponge, and it's like, so it's not crispy anymore, bomb. but it, the, the, the texture's there, you know? Oh, yeah. Good to be able to uh, chop. Chopping is an important function of cooking. Little cyanide pills. Do they is there cyanide in that? Yeah, I guess so. It's not enough to kill you, man. No, I don't think so. Uh, 
one way of corn apple through its heart. Uh, they were they were really giving mo limited edition mozzarella sticks at McDonald's in England, and uh, they didn't order the mozzarella, so they served them as hollow bread sticks. I'm not sure what they are. Wow, they still sold them? Yeah, it's hollow. They probably didn't know. <laughs> That's crazy. Like whoever they're like, wow, these are light. I bet you they're really fluffy. Oh yeah, so someone must have checked before they. Of course, I mean someone yeah. has to do it. Like yeah. McDonald's doesn't like have like a base somewhere where they send all uh, everything. Yeah. Like they still have to like procure their own. Yeah. It's like whatever licenses McDonald's has for their their suppliers in England. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, so well, hungry, excited. Substitute plain Greek yogurt instead of mayo. Like Hell yeah, you can do that, Just W, and that shit would be fucking bomb. Yeah, that would be really um, good. It would be extra creamy. M keep in mind that, because um, mayo kind of has like the tang thing going on. But yeah, you could totally use your Greek yogurt for this if you'd like to do that. Um, cool, let's get um, let's make some sandwiches. Hell yeah. Greek yogurt, that'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be really good. It wouldn't taste the same. It would be better. No. It would be be that would be better, like, on. A salad than yeah than a sandwich, but I mean it would, it would come out and you would, it would definitely be a lot healthier than like this, but it wouldn't be the same. Yeah, of course not. It would be good. It'd be good. It would definitely be good. All right, let's uh let's do one. I do want to put mayo on mine too. Or, uh, I want one of the not curry ones first. Let me grab a boiled chicken or like carrots, vegetables like for the dog. You're watching Snar Chase Network. My name is Uncle Fuffle. We're live on Getting Fat with Skinny Jesus. Oh, it's perfect timing. It's all pretty much 6:30. That's really about the time when the. Uh, all right, as always, you're gonna do it. Boiled chicken. The next preparing uh, one. I'm just gonna do classic. Great for these little breads would be great for open face sandwiches too. Like that. A couple tomatoes. Like that. You want this one? Or you want to make your own? I want to make one. I'm gonna put the bread a little thinner for my snack too. Salt, pepper, and then there you go. Little sandwich. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Let me cut this one right here. Get this big guy. Knife is better for the good. There you go. Hell yeah. Vegan mayo is awesome. Vegan mayo is great. Uh, hooray! Very good. That was fun, didn't it? Alright, let's see. Show him that, Isaac. You did a good job. I'm excited. Sandwich. Yeah. A little chicken salad in there, and a little, little lettuce. Bada bing, bada boom. How you doing? Bada bing, bada boom. Realest guys in the room. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I can't do it. Whatever. Okay. Mine. I'm gonna make a smaller one. All right, guys. 
Oh yeah, Isaac. If it's oh, good it's out. Yeah. Oh man. How much time? There we go. Great. Okay. This is something you would see me order from uh, a deli. Anytime. I've definitely ordered a chicken sandwich, sal or a chicken mm -hmm. salad sandwich at Safeway before. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Is that like two dollars? Yeah, if you want, if you want extra onions, I've already a bunch. Uh, a bunch. Okay, tomato. Tomato. Slices. Mm. The bread is good. It's a very good bread. There you go. There we go. See? Nice. Beautiful. Wow, that looks really good. Real ass sandwich right there. Look at that. Look at that. Alcohol in there too? Yup. Oh, I'll put a little. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I've never done it, so I make a convert out of me. It's good, man. That's the best part. Just putting a little bit on the top here. Two slices. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of each. Ooh, I like that. That's Funkle style for sure. Quintessential funk style. Davy style. Davy style. It's good. Right. You got some nice bread too. You gotta have a nice. You gotta have a nice sourdough. Sour sourdough. Steel <laughs> wow. meal. Touch, yeah, there's a little bit. We need, we need to do that a little bit. Step up your bokeh. Okay. Where the fuck you living with? I really like the furry one. Mm -hmm. I think that's the regular one. That's Yeah, that's the regular one. Oh, go relieve him. He's too uh, tipsy over there. Alright, there we go. Salad is amazing. Wow, very good. Not bad, not bad. Please come up, dog. Put a little mayonnaise on the bottom of this one. You gotta mm. put mayo on. <laughs> I forgot to do that. There's okay. never too much mayo. The mayo, the mayo thing. The mayo thing is delish. Undeniable. Yeah. Mayo is one of those cool, you know, advances of, of humanity. Mm. It's just delicious. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna make one of these ones. Myself. Oh yeah, baby. We did it. Yeah. We did. 
yeah, you know, guys, we did it. Um, like I said earlier, the longer these sit around in your fridge, the, the better they'll actually taste. So, you know, it's, it's going to be better tomorrow. It's going to be better the next. It's going to be better than that the next day. Once all those, once all those flavors just can, can melt and, and chill together, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, the apple in there. Nice cut. Yeah, nice, huh? Yeah, I actually like that. Yeah, it's nice. Crisp. Is that crisp, crunch, sweet? Yeah, if, you, if you don't have any okay. apples at home, you can always use jalapeno. A great substitution for anything. Yeah. I could have just put jalapenos in this. Isn't they called the orchard salad chicken sandwich? Yeah, some shit like that. <laughs> or I gotta switch chicken salad up for some yeah, reason? Salad, ch salad chicken, orchard salad chicken sandwich. Yeah. Maybe someone owns like a dog? chicken salad. Maybe Gene Simmons owns <laughs> chicken salad for some reason. He owns OJ. That's one of his OJ. Five. What? What's that company that has like the pomegranate farms and they do like nuts too? It's like cashew farm in, in California. I don't know. Is it Palm? They do that brand Palm. But oh it's yeah. like, I forget the, like, the farm, but he owns like all of Northern California. Yeah, I'm trying a little one of the, uh, another one of the, uh, Gatsu, bro. Look good. I'll have some on Good bread, too. No, I just put the open face during the sandwich for sure. There you go. The bread is a little thick. Beautiful. I'm going to try this one now. Yep. Killed it, dude. All right. And I was telling everyone earlier, Jimmy, that the celery volumizes your ejaculate. Mm. So you'll have a huge load. It's so a yeah, old uh, porn star trick. Well, celery salad, please. I don't get enough, uh, <laughs> I don't need enough celery, so that's probably, that's probably why I got weak loads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, those weird little, little ones. Well, it was weird. I was at the library and nothing came out. Mm -hmm. Ding dang did it. Fucking A. Nice sandwich. Yeah, very good. Mmm. -hmm. They should make energy mayonnaise. <laughs> Health mayonnaise? Mm. <laughs> it's like I like protein and, and amino acid and, and yeah. B12. <laughs> Floro <laughs> like Electrolytes in the mayo. Vitamin A. Yeah. Fitness mayo. Little bowl. Oh. Fun. says that exists. Fungal? Mayo with with pea protein. Oh. Mm. But yeah, energy mayo would be funny. Or mayo tree. Yeah. Yeah. Monster mayo energy. <laughs> Put this on your fucking sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Well, I thought you do that. That's my boy that. Isaac making the sandwich really goodly, in a way quite agreeable. Just one more little one. Good job. Yeah, very well done, dude. Very good work. And for me, I enjoy ten it. out of ten. A plus. Hmm. How many do you think you've done, Fungal? This is my third one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do... I just had that 
one. I might do that open face on the, the uh, curry one. There we go. There we go. Our network. Mm -mm. Eating in the house. Eating in the house. Eating in the house. Always eating in the house. Eating in the house. Eating in the house. Mm -hmm. Cool. Curry guy going mm -hmm. here. Damn. That's good. That was good. That was good. They're both good. They're both good. TBH. Yep. Mm. Oh, man. Delicious. There we go. Quite delicious. Look at this. Open face style with the uh, curry chicken salad right there. Well, wham, bam. How about that? Wham, bam. That was delicious. I had the curry one. And I've been tasting them both a little bit here and there, but I made a curry sandwich because that's, that's the one I like the most. I love that curry. And it's such a cool, uh, it's such a cool, you know, twist on an old classic. Loving, loving, loving it. What time is it? Almost seven? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. I didn't realize it was so late. Or not late, but I didn't realize we went this long. This is only supposed to take like 40 minutes, but. <laughs> yeah, you had to cook No, we were doing it. We were yeah. doing the whole the whole thing. You know, super good. Jess W., thank you for that thumbs up. I think we'll call it. Yeah. It was definitely delicious. I'll say it was an amazing So that's two. Uh, any. So this is, uh, that's the was going to do. So I did the two chicken salads. We do have that whole other loaf of bread too, don't you, Ricky? You, there's still like that other loaf the of bread, bread, bread too. Oh, there's some bread. Okay, let's get more bread. We got a lot of chicken salad to eat in the next couple of days. It's gonna be sick. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, Sartorius, Carly G, Just Dub, Human, Triangle, um, Alches, um, everyone on Twitch, Des, Laura. Thank you guys, Messy Simmer. Love you guys and. Um, yeah. Tune in tomorrow for okay. Narioki night um, at 7 p.m. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Funkle, intro me out, maybe. All right. I'm getting fat, fat, fat. Jesus!